Okay, go on, man. And I'm back, people. Katie is back. She was in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe? No, I was at home. <laughs> oh, okay. We're back. We got Catherine and Great with us today, and we're going to explore Cape Cora, man. Cape Cora, man. No, but I don't know about Cape Cora. Yeah. We're not in Cape Coral. We're in Cape Cora. Cape Cora, man. Cape Cora, man. Cape Cora, man. Let's go for a ride, y'all. Let's go for a ride through Cape Cora. Mm -hmm. Some people pronounce Is there it. Is cake in Cape Cora? Yeah, some people pronounce it Cape Coral, but the locals know it's Cape Cora, man. Cape Cora, man. Yeah, it sounds like there's cake. I like cake. Cape Cora, man. Yeah. Oh, I'm the Cape Cora, man. So we're going around Cape Coral. We're going to do a few things. Oh, I'm on board. Oh, this car is flying. Why is Slow it down. flying? Slow down with the door down down there. Slow down. Nice little efficiency. I love how I have... Uh, well, let's get going in there. I got comments. Go read into the. Uh, got the oh, yeah, I'll do that. I can do that. Hey, I'm north toward Southwest 21st Street. We can go to mine. Yeah, hey, we can go to today, man. Wow, we already got the 30 people. They've been waiting for us. Oh, wow. You guys have missed me. <laughs> They've been waiting for us. What is this it's place? It's like, where's Katie? Oh, and it's not Katie, man. Turn right on Southwest 21st Street. Oh, you only want to watch from here? Because Katie's from here, there's one high blood. Barbara 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 Barbara. 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 Hello. I just saw it. Whoa, dude, they are fun. Yeah, I did my hair for the first time in like a year. Okay, can you make this like more? Continue on Santa No, Barbara, it's got to tell you where to go. Yeah, but not like that. Whoa, they're racing. Woo, Cape Coral is crazy. Cape Coral in the house. They are racing, bro. They are flying. Yeah, Cape Coral at night. Lots of street racing, Cape Coral at night. No. This isn't a bad part of town. No, Cape Coral's not bad. It's this it's crazy, nice. but it's not bad. Zoom Just because they're racing? No, I mean. No, there's a lot of car racing here. It's it's like normal. It's normal. Yeah, it's just part of life here. It's a lot of street racing at night, though. Lots of street racing. There's a lot of street racing at night here. <laughs> Last time we were here doing videos at night, we caught a car um, racing that crashed into a wall, into a median. Yeah. So it's, it's, it gets crazy at night. There's no doubt about it. I think it's just in our section. No, it's somewhere else. Sure. Yeah, it's, it is crazy at night, even on a Monday. Mm -hmm. yeah, I need my medicine so bad. So why we're in Cape Coral is to find my medicine because mm -hmm. my medicine's been I, I haven't had my I haven't been able to find my medicine in Fort Myers so there's a store here in Cape Coral that has it so we're gonna get my medicine because yeah. without my medicine I don't really feel too good because I check apps and like not just go to random stores yeah I think mean, we got 40 people watching already like it's pretty much a good start to this live stream that's great you guys have been waiting for yeah. Katie yeah. They, they miss Katie, man. I They're feel like, the love. They miss you. They miss Katie. <laughs> oh. No, I had, we had empanadas. But Tell we them also them. had Cuban food. Tell me what you had, man. I had a tuna sandwich. A Cuban tuna sandwich. Yes, a Cuban tuna sandwich. And I had broccoli cream soup. Cuban style. I like both. Anybody who knows me, how much I like broccoli soup. I don't think I've talked about it on the channel, but I'm a pretty big fan of broccoli in general. I like a good broccoli soup. I won't eat all of them. Mm -hmm. What are they saying, Katie? What are they talking about? What they're are you talking about? No. Yeah, they're, they're happy to see Katie back. Do you know about that street racing from there? Oh, there's a lot of street racing at night. Continue on mm -hmm. Veterans Memorial Yeah, Cape Coral is crazy miles. for street racing. Someone said I was just out there doing a ride share trip. Yeah. Still on your salads, Jose? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. No, I have to eat a little healthier. Today, I kind of didn't eat the healthiest. Mm -hmm. But I am eating healthier in general. Yeah. yeah. I'm really sick, though. I got to get my medicine. Yeah, I'm going to go in and get it for you. Yeah. I feel really, really sick. And I didn't sleep last night at all. Yeah. I was up the whole night editing videos. So I, I, um, I, I don't feel good. I just, my sleeping schedule's off. I just feel really sick. Nah, Cuban food. Cuban, no. Cuban, you Cuban, yeah. man. No tacos. No tacos, just Cuban. 
What are they saying? I see comments flying by. Someone said, remember to use turn signals, LOL. You're in Florida. That don't happen. And yeah, you don't need to use your turn signal in Florida. For what? What is the turn signal? I, I, I guess you turn it on in the rain randomly. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've seen, I've heard of, I, yeah, I've heard about that. It's a, it's a ginger B12 gummy, and it's through Walgreens, and not all of them have it, so. You gotta get the Pepsi too, or I'm out of Pepsi. Okay, okay. I'm not out, but I'm running low. Uh, well, I am glad to be back. Katie's back, man. You guys have missed her. It's been nothing but Jose lately. Mm -hmm. They were starting to wonder if they should call Animal Protective Services and see what I did to you. I had somebody suggesting they were going to call Animal Protective Services and find out if you were okay because you haven't been alive for so many of those. Why do you guys worry about Katie so much? Nobody cares about me. If Dude, I, disappeared, I was on the live commenting. I mean, I, it can't be that bad. If I disappeared, nobody would care about me that much. Nobody would care about me, like, not even a percentage. Why is everybody so interested in Katie's well-being? Nobody gives a crap about me. Yeah, I wasn't sick, but, yeah, I was. Uh, I was at home. For a reason. Yeah. Cape Coral Parkway, yeah. The Cape, man. Cape <laughs> Coral, I mean, it's yeah. wild. No, you see street racing, people doing donuts. It's pretty wild. We'll see what tonight looks like. It's on Monday night in Cape Coral, and it's 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 it, it's a wild place. Look at the rims on this car, bro. Dude, they're like, what are they? Look at the rims on this car, guys. This thing is like pimping. Look at this car right here. It's like uh, a, what, a Land Rover. Land Rover with the, like four G autos or something like insane. There they go. Oh, there they go. There they go. Oh snap! Look how he just cut the other car off. Crazy, bro. Yeah, the car racing scene here at night is crazy. Victor says Jose, people are saying your squatter video is fake. My what? Squatter. The homeless person. Ah, that, in the woods, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go over there and, and, and spend a few nights with him. Perfect. People are so ridiculous. In a quarter mile, take the exit toward Del Prado. This is a Monday night out here. Can I, it's wild. Hey, Serena. Dude. Florida is so wild, bro. Yeah. Getting off this interchange to the right. Take the exit toward Del Prado. Yeah, we're not going mm. on the bridge. Mm. We're doing something else. No, we're staying in Cape Coral. This is what we'll be about Cape Coral tonight. Eventually, we'll drive through Fort Myers, though. In 1,000 feet, slight right toward Del Prado Boulevard South. Del Prado. A mi me gusta que baile Marieta. Jasper, what are you trying to do? Stop trying to incriminate people on the live stream. What are you, what are you snitching? You dry snitching on my shit? snitching on his wife. What is his wife doing? She on? She's pregnant. Oh. He's not the father. Oh, no, no. Your wife is pregnant, but you're not the father? Oh, that's a tough one right there. Well, I mean... In a quarter mile, I cannot advise you... Street. I'm going to have to start doing legal talk. Right? I cannot advise you... No association starts, disclaimers you know, to the... Starts sounding like Bill Clinton. I did not have... <laughs> not like Bill, here's sounding like Bill Clinton down there. I did not have intercourse with my wife. It was somebody else. Oh, no, man. That's horrible. Yeah, I wouldn't know what to do on that one. That, that's a tough cookie right there. I, uh, I offer opinions on many things, but that right there is a little bit outside of the realm. Lots of glare. Yeah, that is crazy. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, if you love her, well, now you got to raise somebody else's kid. I mean, love forgives all the things. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how that uh, is. That right there. Turn right onto Southeast Twenty yeah. Seventh Street, then turn left. That is wild. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you on that turn one. Turn left, then turn left. Left, then left. Hopefully they have it because I really need it. Buy a bottle of water while you're at it. Of course. Yeah, I gotta have my medicines. I love Cape Coral. It, it's like. Uh, it's very, very active. It's a very active scene. <laughs> I guess I'm going to show here, watching this intersection oh, while you're in there. Yeah. Watching these cars fly across this intersection while you're in there. Yeah. You got it? 
Yeah, I'm gonna leave you the phone. Careful, you got money? Hey, yeah. Use, use, uh, use cash. All right. Right there. All right. All right, so we are in Cape Cod. I mean, we're gonna get some medicine real quick and then we'll do a live stream. Hopefully I can feel a little bit better. They got me on commercial break out here. Okay. I'm a huge fan. We got Victor in the house. We got uh, Blessed to be a Blessing Creations. Looks beautiful at night. Oh, yeah, it's nice out here. Palm trees. Um, you went right, laugh out loud, yeah. Cape Coral is nice. Yep, Cape Coral is a nice city. It's, uh, it's definitely a wild city. It's definitely a wild city. Hi, Serena. Jose got some fishing together. We got to do some fishing together. Yeah, Jay, um... Yeah, I like fishing. I just, I got to make more time for the things I love and, and less time for the things I don't. Um, I've been in the Cape since 1978. Wow, I bet you've seen some changes here. That's a long time. Serena says it's beautiful at night. I'm a city bus travel, travel on that road. They need to make that two or three exits. Yeah. Beautiful night out here. Palm trees, traffic. We'll be here for a minute while Casey's. We got Nick in the house. Have an awesome, safe night from Winsboro, Louisiana. All right. I don't think I've been there yet. Winsboro. Maybe I have. Who knows? Louisiana, Louisiana. We're watching from Louisiana. <sighs> Jose, I do care about you. Do the hillbilly act. Maybe later on. Until I take my medicines, I don't want to do too much impersonations. I don't want to start throwing up this early into the video. Come on down. We got Nick in Louisiana. Nature lover in the house. Hi from Orlando. I hope you feel better soon. Yeah, I didn't sleep last night. And then I, I slept maybe three hours. So the migraines today are massive um, from not sleeping last night. I don't know why. I just, I'm kind of nervous. I go through some nervous periods where I just can't get sleep and I'm nervous i'm paranoid and i'm up all night editing videos and i didn't sleep enough during the daytime and all it took it was actually something really insignificant we got mike in the house what's up man hi katie katie's inside the store she'll be out in a minute victor wants me to move out of florida why, why do you want me to move out of florida victor I'm actually enjoying life down here. I really am. Um, for one, I feel very safe. Um, safety has been uh, probably one of the main reasons we're going to stay down here. Is that ju I just feel really safe down here. Remove your muera de juicios to avoid migraine. Well, the thing is... Um, The, the thing, it, it, what really kind of started, every, it was something really small. But I, I, it was something small that I had to do. It wasn't really a big deal. But it doesn't take much to ruin my sleep. I have to, uh, it's just something small and insignificant, really, that I had to do, and it ruined my sleep. And um, I, I, my sleeping is very delicate. So, like, if I have to do something early in the morning... It just kind of ruins my whole my whole schedule, really. Like, I don't know. I struggle with, with sleeping. So, I did sleep a little bit during the daytime, but then my sleep got interrupted. So, that's probably why I feel sick. And also, I ran out of my medicine, and we couldn't find it in Fort Myers. So, Katie found a, a store here in Cape Coral that had my medicine. So, she's going to get it. They're really hard to find. They're these uh, ginger gummies to help my stomach. But Walgreens carries them. I'll show you when she brings it in. Uh, they're very hard to find. And Walgreens is the only store that carries them because it's a Walgreens brand. And, and they really helped me a lot. Like, it's helped me tremendously. But you guys know I've had stomach problems for years now. So eating healthy helps. But it also, the less I eat, the weirder I feel and the more delicate I get. So it's it's a, it's a balance between trying to eat healthy and all that but it's it's nice to be in cape coral we've, we've been wanting to come to cape coral for a while greetings from colombia 
God bless you. Thank you for a very informative video. Saludos, Colombia. Que linda y bella, la tierra de Colombia. Colombia, que linda y bella. Santa Marta, Barranquilla, Cartagena. Qué lindas son las mujeres de mi tierra colombiana. Son mujeres muy bonitas, igual que la cubana. Pero mira qué lindas las calles de Cali, por donde camino, donde las mujeres son bellas y me enamoro de ellas. Será su pelo tan lindo o su cuerpo espectacular, pero como la mujer colombiana no hay nada similar. Pero qué lindas son las mujeres colombianas. Con su pelo tan oscuro, me enamoro de sus ojos. Son mujeres muy bonitas, de ellas yo me enamoro. Camino por Medellín y también por Cali, muchas mujeres espectacular. <laughs> I, was just, I was just singing some salsa music out of nowhere. <laughs> they pulled some salsa music out of nowhere. So we got Colombia in the house. Yeah, yeah, Cape Coral, not bad. What up, bro? Content creators. Machachuche. We got David Machachuche. Thumbs up, please. Dear chat, Southern Life, loving friends. Where else uh, are you saturated by the whole... <laughs> that was insane. I got you, man. Oh, yeah, you guys are the best. Clap, clap, clap. Thanks, Mike. Just randomly spit out some salsa music. Que linda son las mujeres. Las mujeres colombianas, camino por Medellín y también por Cali, buscando las mujeres más lindas. Oye, pero qué lindas son. All right, that's enough. <laughs> so, Katie's on the side of the my medicine. What up, Jose? We got Mike Smith in the house. I heard the majority of Cuba is from African descent. Is that true? A large percentage of Cubans are actually of African descent. I wouldn't say the majority. Cuba does have, um, they say, about 40% of Cubans have African descent. Now, keep in mind that a lot of the Cubans that you meet in the United States are mostly white because black Cubans usually don't leave Cuba. So if you go to Cuba, it's, very, it's a very black country. You have Jamaica right next to Cuba. You got Haiti right next to Cuba. So there's Haitian, Cuban, African. There's Haitian. Uh, there's half a million Cubans that have Haitian descent. So there's definitely a lot of African influence in Cuba, not only in their DNA, but also in the music, the culture. Um, you know, it's not just it's not just. Uh, the DNA package, like I think Cubans, we are African in our culture, our music. If you listen to Cuban music, uh, congas, bongos, you know, those are instruments that are Cuban, but, and they're using Colombia, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, and all the other Latin American countries use these instruments. But the bongo and the conga originate, allegedly originating in Cuba, um, and they're instruments that obviously have African roots. I mean, drumming is pretty much an African and um, an Arabic thing for the most part. So when you see people playing on drums, Cuban, uh, that's definitely of African descent. So Cuba is like a mixture between African and Spanish collide to make our culture. Um, if you listen to our music, you have the guitar of the Spaniards and the drums of the Africans mixed together to make salsa, rumba, uh, and all types of song, uh, son montun, all types of uh, Cuban music uh, are gonna encompass just a, a huge mix of the Spanish, African collide into making one culture. Um, and keep in mind, like I said, half a million Cubans have Haitian descent. Um, exactly what percentage of Cubans are African is debated because there's no real way of knowing. Um, I think every Cuban family has African in it. Like in my family, we have people that are red, like 
I got an uncle that's literally red. I'm not even kidding. Like, you saw him, you'd think he was, like, Irish or I don't even know what. Like, he's more Irish than Katie. And uh, I have family that's completely black. So, like, in my family, my cousins, I got cousins that are white and I got cousins that are pretty much black on both sides of my family. Um, so, Cuba is really just a fusion of African and you know, Afro-Caribbean with Spaniards. Um, I think Cuba is more mixed than the United States. I think the United States is more separate. I think in Cuba, there's more of a fusion. And then once you run further down to the Caribbean islands, uh, Puerto Rico has a lot of Lebanese, um, a little bit of Puerto Rican Lebanese. Uh, and then when you get further down the Caribbean islands, you get to like Trinidad, they have uh, Indian um, and Chinese. Um, so the Caribbean islands is kind of like a rainbow because every... Most of the Europeans, when they came, they took different stuff, you know. Like, uh, you know, I think uh, Bermuda is English. You know, I think the Caribbean islands were kind of different countries. Everybody wanted a piece of the Caribbean islands back then. So, you know, like the English took Bermuda and the English took Jamaica. The French took Haiti. The Spaniards had Puerto Rico and Cuba, um, which, in fact... You know, part of the Spaniards losing their influence over North America was that they wanted to hold on to the Caribbean because everything coming out of South America uh, had to go through the three ports of Havana, Santiago, or San Juan, Puerto Rico. So um, the Caribbean is kind of like a rainbow. I mean, you have um, Patois spoken in the Caribbean islands. You have uh, Creole you have Dutch, you have um, English, French, Spanish. Um, what else is in the Caribbean islands? I mean, like the Caribbean islands are just this rainbow of different people that took different islands, you know. And when you get down to Trinidad and Tobago, they have a huge Indian uh, influence in there. So uh, even the Indians had their, their hand in the mix there. So, um, but each, you know, what's beautiful about the Caribbean islands is that each island has its own music. I think there's no other place in the world with as much... Um, we got per, poor dirt farmer in the house. Hope you feel better. Uh, you do a great job of sharing your travels. Stay safe. Thank you so much. Why, do you f uh, why don't black Cubans leave the island? I'll get back to you on that in a minute. So, when you look at the Caribbean islands, um, every island has its own music and there's nowhere else in the world and i don't i don't think there's anywhere else in the world not even europe with as much diversity as the caribbean islands as far as culture when you take the island of cuba cuba has you know within its you know being one island originated so many different types of music um the island of uh Iowa Youth is right south of Cuba. So if you look at Cuba, it's like this. You got right here, you got Jamaica underneath it. But there's another smaller island that belongs to Cuba that's south of Cuba. So there's two big islands south of Cuba. You got Jamaica, and then you got the island of Youth, which belongs to Cuba. And in the island of Youth, they have their own music. Um, it's called, uh, Sung, I think it's called Sung Sung, which is a very strange type of uh, Caribbean music. Um with a strange uh, tempo that's unlike anything else. Then you hop over to Jamaica. Uh, and Cuba has salsa. It has somontuno. It has, like, huaracha. Um, in the time of the 50s, when doo-wop was big in the United States, uh, 50s and 60s, um, there was a huge... There was a huge amount of uh, popularity with doo-wop in, like, 50s, 60s. So, like, as the music of the United States and, and England, kind of, and Spain, even. They didn't have it, oh. but I got your puff set. They didn't have it? You got a water? Yeah. What do you mean they didn't have it? You said they had it on the website. They did, but they just but they sold it. Give me the Pepsi. That sucks. What we got there. Dang. Do you even want to try the other? It's too late to go to the other one, we right? We could. No, it's too far. 
No, it's open later, I think. Yeah. Here's some water. We gotta start driving. So and here's the Pepsi. Pepsi, yo. Yeah. So they ran out. It's really hard to find this stuff. I don't know why they. You can't get it on the internet and order in the internet anymore. No. I think they're gonna discontinue it. I, I think, think that's what's happening. And, and it's been like the most. Yeah. Uh, I've not been able to find this for the longest time in stores. So they're always out. Got it today. What is it? It's a little Luna bar. It's lemon flavored. Mm. They're always sold out when I go to the store. Mm. And That's we were nice. out of stuff to mop the floor. Leave <laughs> my car washing thing. No. <laughs> And I have this in my breakfast every day. I couldn't find cocoa powder, but I got this. So much, don't you? Yeah. Trivia. Mm -hmm. ah. I love this thing. Gluten free. Luna bar. Lemon zest. So good. <laughs> You guys ready to ride the kick, bro? Yeah. So good. Would Jose like to try it? Mm -mm. Yeah. Lemony. Eight grams of protein made with organic oats. <laughs> okay, so somebody asked why don't Afro Cubans leave the island? So. Afro-Cubans have historically never left Cuba. As we know, Cuba has a lot of Cu uh, African population. You're, you know, you're talking maybe a million Cubans or African. I don't even know. There's no real statistics. The low estimates put it at 10% and the high estimates put it at 40%. Because in Cuba, you have like um, a percentage of the population that's mixed so in Cuba, you have kind of like a mix of the population where you have um, you have a huge mix of, uh, of people. So it's not exactly known what percentage of the population is African. But what is known is that they don't leave the island. The, the Afro-Cubans, where's it going to the gas station? I guess. Let's go over there. So the racetrack would be a great place to start this live stream, anyways. And don't they show like really messed up videos? Yeah, there, there, there's been a um, African Cubans had not left the island, and there's kind of been a campaign of misinformation to keep them there. Yeah. And a lot of them used to support the government, but over the last um, over the last two years, the African population of Cuba started to move to the United States. 140,000 Cubans have left Cuba in the last year, and a large, much larger percentage are starting to be Afro-Cuban. Um, so you're going to start to see a lot more Afro-Cubans in the United States, and they're not going to get legal status here. So I don't know what's going to happen to these Cubans that are coming here. Um, they have to check in with ICE so that you know the, the U.S. government knows how many are coming because when they come here. They have to, uh, um, they don't get their papers, but they, they have to, uh, they have to, uh, like check in, you know? So they're not, you know, when they come here, they don't become U.S. citizens, but they have to have like a parole hearing of some sort. Um, sometimes they'll even get, a, uh, they'll get, they'll put them on probation right off the bat. Um, but, you know, like, well, they'll put an ankle monitor on them or whatever. Uh, it, it's a it's a complicated scenario, but yeah, Afro Cubans um, have never left Cuba, but they are starting. They're starting to leave Cuba in large numbers. Um, but every island in the Caribbean has its own music. Jamaica has uh, ragamuffin. They have obviously reggae. Uh, dance hall is really the biggest thing in Jamaica. Um, and dance hall has evolved over the years. Like dance hall from 10 years ago has nothing to do with dance hall of today. Obviously, reggaeton is Spanish, but it's originates from Jamaica. 
uh, there's ska, there, there's so many different types of uh, Jamaican music, um, and, and there's also a lot of uh, rock type, I don't even know what they're called, but like rock, um, you got people like stick figures and stuff like that, there's a lot of different uh, Jamaican music, uh, the Dominican Republic has merengue and bachata, which are popular throughout Latin America, Europe, and Africa, so... Um, Hear police sirens. Yeah. Just don't know where they're coming from. That way. That way. So where's from the behind scene? us? Oh, behind us. So is the scene over here? Possibly. Is it at this gas station? Uh, Sometimes, like, if there's us, then we'll come until the cops show up. Mm, we'll find out. This uh, racetrack right here. We're in the Cape. Lots of racetracks in the Cape. These are big gas stations. Mm -hmm. Get back on with me. Oh, I was going to add something to what you just said. Yeah, what are you going to say? I know someone recently, they told me that um, their apartment complex, there was a domestic dispute and they set off the uh, fire alarm when they set close the door mm -hmm. they the poli the fire people wouldn't come mm -hmm. until the police department came and checked it out yeah they won't, they won't do that yeah that's a very common thing mm -hmm. the game crawl is still south of us we gotta keep going south yeah okay i feel a little bit better after they that said thing. thank you jose for the song he he you guys are awesome <laughs> i was singing a song about how beautiful colombian women are i, I wrote it myself i was inspired What are you looking at? You're gonna kill me? What? What's your what problem? What are you talking about? You look like you're angry. Ah, hey, get off me! I'm gonna switch the camera back so they can see you hurting me. And now I can't improvise music. <laughs> so yeah, every island, uh, merengue and bachata are the two main musics you're gonna hear in the Dominican Republic. Keep in mind that the Dominican Republic and Haiti share an island. When are we moving to Dallas? I hope never. <laughs> I hope never, man. No. I don't like Dallas. I like San Antonio and Houston. Dallas doesn't seem... The roads are in horrible condition, first of all. If I was going to live in Texas, I'd probably do, like, some stuff in Dallas. But I wouldn't live there. No, I wouldn't live there. Like, the first time we went, the rooms... The room shop, they were pretty cool, and they were going to give us a good deal. Yeah. So the Things are cheaper, and that's why we got the rooms in Alabama. Florida, not everything is affordable in Florida. Yeah. Florida is an interesting place for, for price of stuff. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, Haiti also has its own music called compa. Um, keep in mind, Haitians speak Creole, but Creole is kind of like a form of French, so... Uh, you're looking at uh, a French influenced music, of course. A lot of the music from Haiti is going to sound somewhat like the music of France, not not entirely, but they have a music called compa and souk, are the two most popular types of music in Haiti. And compa is K O M P A. Um, it has a lot of thumbs. You have a tum 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 tum, and they just kind of uh, they have a ch ch. Yo, thank you so much. We got our first super chat today. Stats in the house. Thank you so much. Compa music from Haiti. Um, and we just hit 100, so live stream is running strong. Uh, compa music from Haiti. Um, I love compa music. It's not very lyrical. It's mostly sound. Like, they have a lot of thumbs that do thumb rolls, you know, like, dun, 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 dun. Lots of thumb rolls. This is the music you're going to hear when you go to, like, Miami or you go to Broward County and you just hear people doing the thumb rolls. Dun, 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 and then the... the ch, 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 ch. That's like Haitian music right there. Um, compa music, which I love compa music. Uh, it's one of my favorite types of Latin music from the island of Haiti. Uh, if you guys know Trinidad and Tobago, they also got their own music going on down there. Uh, their music is called Soca. 
Now, soca is, uh, it sounds similar to American hip hop, but it's more of like a Caribbean. Um, it's got some Jamaican influence in there, but it's, it's a unique, yeah, what you got? Eric's having a hard time in Millbrook. Oh, Millbrook sucks, bro. Mm -hmm. I had a subscriber. Can you read that comment? I think I, I took a screenshot and sent it to you, or I sent it to Mike. When? Somebody on, oh, don't worry about it if, if you can't find it, don't worry. But somebody said they've lived in 20 different states mm -hmm. and 40 different cities. Yeah. And Millbrook, Alabama is absolutely the worst city in America they've ever lived in. Yeah. That's one of our comments on our Millbrook. Where this guy says he's lived all over America. He's been all over the United States. Millbrook, Alabama, absolutely the worst place he's ever lived. He says he got an amp, an app in for Clanton. She's trying to get out of the Trailer Park Boys nightmare. Yeah, well, Clanton's yeah. pretty backwards too, man. Yeah. Clanton is is actually probably more backwards. I like the people in Clanton better though. They're more yeah. down to earth. Mm -hmm. But Clanton is definitely very, very. Um, it's a very backwards area, man. You you're in a tough area. But Clanton, um. I like the people there. I met, I met great people in Clinton, but it's very backwards. I mean, these people are, there's definitely a, I heard a story about, I met a guy on the street and he told me a story in Clinton about how when he goes to court, the judge, they have pictures of the judge with hookers. And uh, so when they go to court, they always tell the judge, hey, you know, you know, I got that picture, <laughs> you know, so that they, they extort the judges, man. Whoever you know, the courts and the judges there in Clinton, they got they extort those people. They have pictures of the judge with hookers and stuff, and you know, you can buy a picture of the judge with a hooker and then use it to extort the judge. <laughs> oh, that's horrible stuff, man. That's real stuff, man. Because um, I met a guy in Clinton, and the guy was like an old, you know, like an old head. You know what I mean? And I was like, man, I can't stand these racist, backwards people. I, I threw a fit at the guy, you know. And the guy, man, I tell you what, that damn judge down there, piece of crap. I got a picture of him with a hooker. <laughs> Every time I get a DUI, I run down there to the court and say, Mr. Judge, you don't really want me in this courtroom. <laughs> you don't really want me in that courtroom down there. <laughs> oh, man. All right, guys, we're in downtown Cape Coral. You don't want me in that courtroom down there. Y'all really want to see me in this courtroom, Joe. Yeah, you might just want to throw that out the window right there. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, Katie's back, man. You throw that case out the window right now before it get too heavy down there. <laughs> oh, man. This is the old guy. I was like, dude, how do you get away with so many DUIs and stuff? Because the old guy, you know, he was just obviously drunk. He was drunk out of his mind. Okay, this guy in Clinton, Alabama. Like, she just, he wasn't there, bro. I'm like, bro, you can't drive like that. He's like, man, that guy ain't crap. I got a picture of him with a hooker. <laughs> he don't want to see me in that courtroom. Because I'll tell you how it is. <laughs> Every time he goes to court, he just tells the judge, Jesse J, you don't want to see me in the courtroom now, do you? You really don't want me out here. Alabama is something else, man. It really is. Phil, I can't believe you signed a seven-year lease to be in Millbrook. Oh no, a seven-year? Yeah. Now you might want to mess. You might want to start your work on it. Get, try to get out of that lease right there. You might want to file for bankruptcy already. <laughs> yeah. They have seven-year leases. I've never even heard about that. Probably one of those like kangaroo Alabama. We're gonna say that's probably laws. illegal. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Mm -hmm. There's no way that's well. Alabama doesn't have any well, laws. Well, you can. Um, Alabama doesn't have any laws. In commercial, you can. Yeah. In residential, I mean, it, it depends on who's listening mm -hmm. and what it actually is. Yeah, that stabilizer. So, downtown Cape Coral is not very walkable. No. So, I don't know how we're going to do this. Why don't we just drive around? Mm -hmm. This isn't a walk place at all. Mm, it really isn't. What do we no. do, guys? Drive or walk? Drive. Yeah, uh, uh, stay off the, 
I'll walk around. You can stay in the car if you want to. I'll be, I'll be brief. Yeah. We're not stabilizing in the back seat. Yeah. You put the stabilizer. No religion, no politics. We try to keep it neutral here. We stay neutral, guys. Some topics yeah. we avoid. So you can stay in the car if you want to for a minute. Walk. They want us to walk. Let's walk a little bit. It ain't gonna hurt. We'll walk together. It's definitely not a walkable city, but we'll try it. We'll try it just for the crap of it, just to say we did. Give me a second, guys. You know it's always hard getting in out of the car when you got camera. Let's go for a walk. It's not really the most walkable city, but we'll make it work. I guess I'll be safer if I got Katie with me. People are, are very reluctant to attack a white woman. Now, a Cuban guy, I'll be getting hit by homeless people in a heartbeat. Mm. Getting the... Let's go. Don't be afraid. Walk. Sure. Oh, yeah. Always gonna hurt a white woman. I feel safer if you come with me. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try to walk Cape Coral. It's definitely not a walkable city. It really isn't. Fort Myers downtown is more walkable. I guess there's free parking here. That's that's the only good thing about this city. It's free parking. Yeah, I, I feel safer with a white woman. Nobody's gonna hurt a white woman. People people got more common sense than to hurt a white woman. Aniston is made. Oh, Aniston's horrible, bro. Aniston's got to be one of the worst cities in the country. I mean, just the fact that you can buy a house for like five thousand dollars, that should already be a sign that there's something wrong with Cape Coral. With um, with Aniston. Go figure. A house that would cost you forty thousand dollars in Aniston would be like four hundred thousand dollars here. Look at stylish Katie, looking good. Katie, looking good. Look at that. Oh, looking good, baby. Look at that. Look at this beautiful white woman. Golden blonde hair. Okay, so we're going to walk through Cape Coral. We can hang out here outside if you want. Let's just sit outside for a minute. You want to sit down right here? Yeah. Now, I'm not going to get hurt. Nobody's going to hurt a white woman. That's that's just a bad business right there. This isn't really a hang out and walk. Kind of it's really not. So here's Razzle Dazzle. Cape Coral is one of the least walkable cities ever. I think that's one of the biggest uh, downsides of Cape Coral. Yeah. They think you look cute today. Looking good. I decided to dress. <laughs> look at yeah. Katie. Look at look, Katie looking like she's uh, trying out for a Starbucks commercial. Oh, I got my first Starbucks cup. Nobody cares about Starbucks cups. Let's go for a slow, slow walk. So definitely one of the one of the worst things about Cape Coral is Once how walk, there's nothing open. Yeah, we'll just walk. It doesn't matter. So I'll like the only people walking. What a lucky guy! Beautiful woman, beautiful car. Check out the ride. Beautiful woman. Watch out with the pavers; they're like off the ground. Beautiful woman, beautiful car. I don't deserve to live this good. Let's walk, babe. It really isn't. That's one of the downsides of Cape Coral. Definitely. Be on the lookout for that headbutting homeless guy. Yeah. You better be look out. The police can, like, arrest you for walking. Yeah, get arrested for walking. <laughs> Florida, where you can get arrested for walking. That building is a Starbucks and Emiliano's Coffee Shop on New Milano. Mil yeah, they do have everything you need in Clinton. I will give you that, Eric. They have everything you need. Bro, you got a Jax. If you have a Jax, you're good to go, man. You have a Jax, you're you're set. There's only one city I still like in Alabama. It's Huntsville. Huntsville? Yeah. yeah. I like um oh, there's a great I like store. Auburn. I've always liked Auburn. Yeah. There's a great store last time we were in Huntsville that I checked out. The Gordon's Food Service. Okay, they want to know all kinds of juices. It's really cool. These pavers are definitely not even like level. Look at this. I think we should go back to it. Like, Good loss. Awesome. Let's walk, walk. Come on. This is what we do on the channel. We walk. We walk through busy cities. Walkable places. So, Katie, they want to know how long we've been together. We've been together since We just got peace at Little Caesars and Inglis. They tried to cook. <laughs> Too tired to cook. Ha, 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 ha. Inglis? Dude, Inglis is so redneck. Inglis. Yeah. yeah. Crystal River is a little bit better. Inglis is like the most redneck place ever. I actually... Uh, know a cuban guy that's lived out there for like 20 years i can say when i have my own house again i'm probably gonna shop at this store right here yeah. oh yeah man it's like what is this leaders no 
It looks like a leaf. Look at how like Florida this store looks, man. Do you guys? I am digging that lamp. Do you think, guys, that Inverness might be a good place to live? I know a lot of Colombians are moving to Florida. I heard something about Inverness and Ocala. Yeah, Inverness, I like it. Now I don't know about for Hispanics. Um, I don't think it's bad. There's there's like three Cuban restaurants in the in in citrus in that area of Inverness. Uh, in Danella and Inverness, there are some Cuban restaurants. Keep in mind that you know Cubans have a really bad reputation in Florida. Um, we kind of ran off the rednecks, so now we're. They're not really happy to see us up there, you know? How long have y'all been together? I didn't hear the answer. You cut off. Katie, how long have we been together? Since 2008, 14 years. 14 years. And then we've been married for 13. Married for 13 together. Mm -hmm. My name is Julie. Retired, so it's slower. My name is Julie. Up here, and I can go anywhere for busy excitement. Stay in my camper till my house is ready. That sounds cool. We did that for a while in Naples. I used to go to Inverness many years ago. My friend and Chris River before that. I like that area, but, you know, being Colombian or, you know, Colombians tend to be a little bit more accepted. Cubans just have a horrible reputation. Uh, we, uh, we've really burned down some bridges. <laughs> Come on. Let's go find some homeless people that we can fight. I don't even think there's homeless people here. Yeah, there's definitely homeless people. But as you guys can see, uh, nobody in downtown Cape Coral. What's Southern Alabama like? Gulf Shores, Orange Beach like? Okay, so basically Baldwin County is good. Um, I tell people there's only like three places you ever want to move to in Alabama. And Baldwin County is one of them. But it's getting to be so expensive that you might as well just get the real thing and come to Florida. I love those live streams, guys. My favorite YouTube channels. Thank you. It's beautiful. I'm an older white woman in my native with my native man. He is okay everywhere like us white women. <laughs> yeah, I carry me a white woman. Just forget about carrying about Yo, Jose, do you conceal carry? I don't I'm like, I don't need to conceal carry. I just carry a white woman, I'll be alright. Nobody's gonna hurt a white woman. You would Not have even to, in Alabama. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to be out of your mind to hurt a white woman. If I carry Katie around, ain't nobody gonna bother me. You can't commit a crime in front of a white woman. I love these palm trees in the middle. But as you guys can see, downtown Cape Coral is pretty much a ghost town. We are prizes. <laughs> Big old trophy woman down there. And this is a nice night, so there should be people out. But yeah. no one's here. Everything is closed. Everything's closed. We got a car pulling up. I don't know what it's about. Oh, we're good, man. We walking on purpose. We good, bro. Appreciate you. What happened? No, man. No, I'm good, bro. Appreciate you, man. Keep walking. Somebody called a cab. There's a McDonald's over there. Yeah, it's definitely uh, not the most... Not the most... Um, how old are you guys? We're in our 30s. Early 30s. <laughs> Early 30s. Yeah, it, this is not like Fort Myers is definitely walkable. Oh, do you know that somebody got shot in downtown Fort Myers last night? Oh wow! Yeah, last night somebody got shot in downtown Fort Myers. In downtown? Downtown on Henry and Second Street, somebody wow. got shot right in downtown Fort Myers. Hmm. Uh, it was like two in the morning, I think, or something. But either way, if you're out at two in the morning, you're asking for. Yeah, coming. if you're out at two in the morning, you're asking for it. That's pretty much that's a true fact right there. Missing Cuban and wow. <laughs> <laughs> But it, it's definitely, Cape Coral is not walkable. As you can see, there's not much, <laughs> uh, not much going on out here. It's definitely slow. Um, it's more of a driving city for sure. Um, lot, it's really like Cape Coral doesn't have all the greatest, uh, all the greatest walking. There's like nobody out here, pretty much. Downtown Fort Myers, there's a lot of people. Downtown Naples, there's a lot of people. But Cape Coral is definitely uh, slower. Definitely slower out here. Nothing out here. Uh. Apparently, it happened in a parking garage. 
Parking garages are sketchy. I haven't really uh, experienced that too much. Parking garages can be sketchy. Yeah, um, anywhere really. No light life, but safer. Yeah, Cape Coral, it, like I said, downtown Fort Myers, we walk there at night. Uh, I like downtown Fort Myers because there's always people, cars passing by, music. Um, there's uh, just a different scene. Whereas, for some reason, Naples is all so good. But Cape Coral just doesn't have that. You know, Cape Coral, there's more of a car scene here. You know, more like tuner scene. But it's definitely not like a city you would walk around in. Endless suburbia. Exactly, yeah. So, uh, Fort Myers has more character and charm. Uh, Cape Coral has more businesses has more restaurants um crap man there's probably 10 or 12 different cuban restaurants here like in fort myers there's only like three or four cuban restaurants and they are not good at all there's like there's really no good cuban restaurants in fort myers that i can think of cape coral i could think of like five or six good cuban restaurants and like seven or eight other ones that i've never even tried in fact even some of the names here in cape coral would suggest um you good yeah. walk back yeah let's go let's walk around the back okay. then we'll go walk back that way okay. you, you tired already no i can hang out here at this intersection before i walk you want to sit down to this thing sit down for a minute yeah. the white woman has become tired whoa toyota I was loving that ATV footage. Oh, that's fun, man. I try not to upload too much on the ATV because, you know, it's not illegal, but it's not technically legal either. You know, it's it's kind of a gray zone. So we're kind of, uh, that same guy just passed you again. I saw, I saw, I saw, I saw, I know. I saw. But Katie looking spectacular today. Look at that. Big chunk of white woman. Yeah. Yeah. But as you guys can see, Cape Coral is definitely not that walkable. And people say it's safe. Um, I think the guy's generally looking for somebody uh, that ordered a cab. I don't really think it's a problem. But I'll, I'll stay alert either way. I saw people in the cab. You saw people in the cab? All right. Katie said she saw somebody in the cab. Yeah, I think 117 people. That is crazy. Um, how long before you get your real estate license, Kay? They want to know when your real estate license. Tell them really what's going on with that. What do you mean you don't know? I don't exactly know. I have to finish. I'm working on the course. I'm more than halfway through it. Mm -hmm. The second one. The yeah. one I actually understand. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm working on that. I try to work on it at least a little bit every day. So I'm trying to learn and comprehend. Because with this one, I can actually understand it. Because they break it down. What do you? What, what are you? What section are you studying it now? Mortgages. Mortgages. That's a really complicated one. Mortgages is one of the more complicated chapters. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because this one goes more in depth. Like the other one, it was just like stating facts, and you couldn't understand the why. It would just state facts. La says this, but your guys are my favorite new channel. Just good people exploring the world. Huh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ambulance. There's the Lee County Ambulance. The Ambulance right there. Well, you yeah. want to get it? Want to hop on an ambulance or you want to walk? walk. <laughs> let's walk, come on. Walk <laughs> well, let's walk around the back, though. Okay. Katie, which areas do you serve as a will you serve? State well, of Florida. I'm so. Yeah, once she gets her license, she'll be licensed in Florida. I'll sell, I'll sell your house anywhere you yeah. want. And Florida. my sister, um, who we live in a duplex with, my sister, um, she, she's a realtor license, and she's been doing really great. Um, I've been hooking her up with a lot of customers through YouTube, and she's been doing awesome. You know, most my sister's a new realtor. She's only had her license, what, like two years? A year. A year? A little over a year. It's just a little... A yeah, my sister hasn't even had her license for two years. She's had it for a very short time. But 
like uh, her broker, they're really happy with her because they're like, you know, a lot of people when they get their real estate license, they don't sell anything at all. And my sister got her real estate license and she's been killing it. Um, you know, a lot of our subscribers have bought places through her, several of our subscribers. So in empty lots and she's got a, a few more like between what I'm getting her, the people she knew already. And um, and she's a manager at a store. She's been manager at a store for something like 17 years, I think, 18 years going. Yeah. So she's definitely, you know, other than being a realtor, on top of that, she's also a manager at a store. And they're trying to get her to move to Sarasota eventually, I think, mm -hmm. um, because they're trying to promote her. So my sister is definitely talented. Um, and she's been a great realtor. Like, And it's hard. Like I said, a lot of people, get, they get their real estate license and they just can't do it. You know, I mean, they get the license and they just can't get they can't get the customers. You know, like there's people in brokerages out there. They'll get the real estate license and they'll be a year for a whole the whole first year. They won't tell nothing. Second year, they won't tell nothing. Third or fourth year, they'll start to make some sales. So it's awesome that my sister has just taken to it like back to back sales, you know. Like every month, she's been closing, closing, closing. It's pretty awesome to see her do so well. And... uh we got to see what Katie does as a realtor. But it's weird because everybody in Florida wants to be a realtor. But, not, like, everybody, like, there's, like, I, I think in Cape Coral, how many people have a real estate license in Cape Coral? Anybody wants to oh. Google that? I think it's, like, I heard somebody say between. Oh, I have something I can tell them about my real estate. Yeah. I have to finish the course by November. You have to finish it by November? Mm -hmm. Oh, so it's, like, a deadline on when you by can. The end of November. Okay. So by the end of November, you got to be done with it. Yeah. So the course has like a built-in deadline? Yeah. Katie has the advantage that she already knows a lot of places. Thanks to the work you're doing, she's going to be successful. I think she will be successful. Um, so this is the more walkable part of downtown. That's the main street, but this is like the back street. Obviously, there's not a soul here. Now, I do want you to understand this. See, this restaurant's closed. It's dead nothing going on here right now this is totally a ghost town during the winter okay it's packed it is packed there'll be people during the winter lined up outside this restaurant even on a monday night but as you can see now it's dead so cape coral you can hear music playing down that way i recommend joining a very successful brokerage and even a team of realtors if possible well, she's already going to go with, uh, she, we know several brokers, so that's not going to be a problem. My sister, the broker that she's got now is, a, is an option, and he uh, he's doing good because, like I said, my sister, her first year, she's been selling, 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 you know, less. They might want Katie, yeah. Well, because the broker knows that, the broker asked my sister, he's like, where are you getting all these sales? Like, you're a new realtor and you got all these people buying and she's probably told them, you know, yeah. the YouTube channel. So, yeah, um, I think they're going to want her. <laughs> she's going to be a commodity once she's got a real estate license. But um, so it's weird that there's nobody out here. If you had your 100000 back, where would you be investing? Well, I can, I, I can get most of my money back. I, I can sell my lot. I can sell my truck. And I can save up. And I, I could probably get... Maybe seven. We, me and Kitty, we've talked about it. If I were to sell my truck, sell my ATV, sell my lot, and sell a few other things that I have, I could probably get back up to $75,000. Um, you can't buy anything with $75,000 that's worth having when it comes to real estate. At least right now. At least right now. Um, so we're not going to worry about it. We're going to rent. We, we've decided we're too young to be homeowners. We have to build our net worth. We have to not only build our net worth, but also we have to um, grow our, 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 you know, whatever we're doing, we have to grow. You know, we can't just hop on and all of a sudden be homeowners at our age and then sit there and not do nothing with our lives except for try, you know. I, I wouldn't really even care to do it, to be honest. Like, I've thought about it. I could sell my truck. I could sell... We're not ready to be homeowners. It's it it's it ties you down so much that she yeah, Katie's absolutely right. It just ties you down. So as you guys can see, Cape Coral downtown, it's very dead right now. 
There's a few bars over here. It's really dead. It's definitely not downtown Fort Myers where we get to see people and we get to see all that going on. Is there a place to sit down around here? I think there's a bench up ahead. You can hear some country music coming out of that bar over there. Sell your soul, hood vids. Now nah, I'm good. So, not in a home, but in land. I was looking at some land in, in Michigan for $200,000 outside of Marquette, Michigan. You can get a piece of land overlooking the lake. I would probably say land and not real estate. I wouldn't buy a house. I would buy land. Did they put Leon lights on their dog? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Okay. So I would say I would very likely, more than likely, invest into land like I have now. I own a piece of land in Florida that's about $25,000. I would much rather hold on to land than a house because there's no overhead. Taxes can't go up too high. Less liability. Um, it's just a lot less to worry about. You don't have to worry about homeowner's insurance. You don't got to worry about it burning down. I mean, it's endless uh, things that you don't have to worry about. I love how they have lights on the dog. That's pretty cool. There is a country music coming out of that bar over there. That is the coolest dog I've ever seen right there. <laughs> That's a... Yeah, man. Definitely, definitely cool. This is a few country music bars over there. There's got to be a Starbucks somewhere around there. There's definitely a lot of Starbucks here. This is the king of suburbia. Want to sit down at this bench right here, toilet? Yeah. All right. That's the smallest bench I've ever seen. Yeah, well, they don't want people to sleep on them. You can sit down for a minute. Yeah. Look at Katie sweating. <laughs> it's humid, guys. So this is like the number one business people start in Cape Coral, a cigar bar. You can see there's a cigar bar there. Everybody moves from New York. Like, I literally had at one time three different subscribers. During the peak of the pandemic, I had three different subscribers tell me that um, they were from New York and they wanted to move to Cape Coral to start a, a, a cigar bar. I'm like, do you know how many cigar places there are in Cape Coral already? How's Lakeland? I'm not a fan of Lakeland at all. I really don't like it. Like, I wouldn't walk around Lakeland like I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm selling my home in west new york and moving here that's awesome what's your career before youtube well i wouldn't even call it a career before youtube i would just call it living i had a junk removal business which was enough for me to and katie to live on i did enjoy the junk removal a lot but competition made it increasingly difficult it was increasingly difficult to hold on to that business. So, does this kind of look like downtown Bonita a little bit? Yeah. I would say so. Are you sweating? A little bit. It's hot and humid, ain't it? Yeah. Show sure enough is, man. So, yes, downtown Cape Coral is absolutely dead at night. This is definitely not Fort Myers or Naples. It's dead. Now, there's more restaurants here. The, the city of Cape Coral is a giant grid pattern. Junk removal was dominated by, you know who, I'm not sure who, who dominates it, but I, I do know that junk removal, um, at first, it was very good and I made a lot of money. I made a great deal of money on junk removal, but it was enough to live. Well, I mean, for, for me, you know, I'm, 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 guys, I didn't even finish the ninth grade, so for me, it was good, um, but it became increasingly competitive. And as it became competitive, we decided, well, it's not going to work anymore. The YouTube started to blow up, and I kind of, even if my YouTube was huge, I, I like junk removal. Katie wants me to stop doing it because it's so physically draining. Um, moving the yeah, my health isn't. Like, even right now, it's just, I have a huge migraine. Um, but you can see there's like a country bar over here. There, there are a few things going on in Cape Coral. Um, there's a country music bar over there. I can hear some country music. There's a uh, little few cars here. And there's a row of cigars. There's a lot of cigar bars here. And probably would be hundreds more. Is Citrus Springs safe? Jason, Citrus Springs is mostly retired people. I mean, it's very elderly. I don't think it's dangerous. But I also don't think it's... 
how do I explain it? No, we're at the point where like even um We're at the point where even um Hi Katie. Hi. I like your hair. Mm -hmm. I like your hair. Yeah, well, okay. Yeah, there's nothing happening here. This is completely My uncle did junk removal in Kentucky. He collected cans and would turn them in, sitting, and collect some money. No, when I say junk removal, I don't think you understand. Um, I was working in, you know, $30 million houses, you know, getting rid of a couch. They paid $40,000 for a piece of furniture, and now they don't want it. Like, that type of thing. I love this, you being sweet. Definitely a fan. Yeah, I'm nice to Katie. Try to get her to walk more and stuff. But. Why did Katie do before YouTube? Okay, Elaine gives us five dollars. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. What did I do before YouTube? Tom, hold on to that. I've had several different types of jobs. Um, I've worked at a call center before. I've worked at a hotel before. I worked. In what are you doing? That's weird. Eating your hair. Ew, go away. Um, yeah, I worked at... Um, a call center for a car dealership. I said that. I, a call center. I'm not discussing what exactly I did with a call center. Uh, I was a babysitter at a gym for a while. So, yeah. I haven't worked... And I worked at McDonald's for a bit. Yeah, you worked at McDonald's. Yeah. Flipping burgers. Not, you made it for six months. That was the most miserable job ever. It was terrible. Miserable. Like, I would come home and cry. It was bad. People... Please don't... This is why I don't put my hair down. I don't want your, your saliva on my hair. So, yeah, it's, it's not fun. I was working cash register. There would be customers that would go in the McDonald's just to pick on her. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. had me working cash register because my skills in English were fabulous. <laughs> and I was terribly uncoordinated. She doesn't know how to count, so I don't know how that worked out. My drawer was never short. They just told her that so she wouldn't feel bad about herself. No, actually, you put it in the machine and it counts it. And they compare the numbers. Yeah, YouTube's really been a great change of opportunities. The junk removal did good in Alabama, and they did good in Naples, but in Lee County, yeah. Florida, man, it is so hard here. I'm telling you, this ain't, this is not, this is not an easy place to make a living. Lee County, Florida, making a living here is tough. It is definitely hard to make that dollar here. Yeah, Lee County, when it comes to uh, making money, challenging. What are they saying? Yeah. Orlando. I probably wouldn't do this out in Orlando. Maybe downtown Disney. You could live stream in Orlando. It'd be a, it'd be a crazy show, but you could definitely do it. <laughs> Maybe Disney Springs would be an interesting place. No, you could live stream in Orlando. There's, there's, I, I see people live streaming all the time. People remember people go to Orlando and live stream just because they think it's cool. I think definitely you could do that in Orlando. Would you choose safety over affordability every single time? Yeah, every single time. You heard what I said? Yeah. You need to choose safety over affordability every single time. There's no compromising there. Tavares is okay. That area of Florida is not bad. It's a good place for retirement. I wouldn't recommend a young person end up there. Because I'd rather live... Be live, then be liquid. Exactly. So if you're thinking about that question, affordability versus safety, it's going to be safety every single time. That's why we're here. I couldn't live stream in Montgomery, Alabama this late at night on a sidewalk and be okay. Even here, it's you have to be careful. But you definitely can't do that in Montgomery, Alabama. You can't do that in Birmingham. What we're doing right now you could not do this in Birmingham, Alabama. Somebody would come and they would hurt you. So every single time uh, where I might look safe, uh, it doesn't look bad. 
but you still have to be alert. It's nighttime. So every single time, guys, there's no compromising your safety. I want you to get that clear. You have to go with safety every single time. The only time you can compromise it is if you are going to fly under the radar because, you know, the way you look, the cars you drive, or you just you look like you're a hood person, you know. But me, the cars that I drive, the way that I move, I can't move like this in a bad place. No, we're in downtown Cape Coral. It's absolutely dead. Tell before Katie full moon. I tell before Katie as full moon, yes. Find the comments to her circle in here. How's Broward County? It's got good areas and bad areas. Um, it's, it's a very expensive place. I was driving down Calypso was in the house. What's up? I was driving down Tamiami yesterday at about 8 p.m. in North Naples, my hood. Two Porsches started drag racing, came flying behind me. They were cutting people off. I just pulled over. I thought they were going to crash. Yeah, North Naples is where I grew up kind of crazy. Um, it's turning to crap, really. I carry the K on me, the spray, the taxers. You can buy them at the flea market. Sheep. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really care. For a lot of those nice, but they've been in last. Oh, yeah. That's, oh, this is awesome. How's Destin? Destin, Florida is very cool, but uh, it changes at night. Apalachicola, um, Victor, it's a nice place to visit. Um, it's a great place to retire if you're American. But if with a Spanish last name, I wouldn't want to end up in that area. It's a great place to retire affordably if you're from the south and everything. You... There's a lot of politicking to live there. Uh, yeah, I don't really care about any of that. We're full body armor. You don't have to worry. No, that's stupid. I'm not worried about nothing. We're safe here. Uh, Broward is pretty much every bit. Of, I'm not going to worry. Is the thing. You know. Broward is every bit as chaotic as Miami. Yeah, it's it really is. Broward County is getting there. What are taxers? Yeah. Is there a lot of Haitians in Naples? Yeah, there are. Um, most black people in Naples are Haitian, and they probably make up about 5 to 10% of the whole population for the whole county. Want to walk back to the car? Yeah. Let's go. Um, let's walk that way, and then we'll turn like this and like that. <laughs> so the thing about Haitians in Naples, there's a lot of Haitians. Um, they occupy most of the nursing jobs especially the females and the males occupy most of the cooking jobs. Um, so the males are most of the cooks in Naples. A lot of them are Haitian and a lot of the nurses are Haitian. So um, Naples has a lot of Haitians. Yeah. Calypso says, we love you, Jose. Thank you guys so much. Will you guys do another Midwest trip in the winter? I would like to see more Indiana and Chicago videos. We're planning that area. Now, Indiana here is really backwards from what I've heard. Um, they really don't like outsiders in Indiana. It's one of those hostile states. What was the most overrated city in Florida? West Palm Beach to mine? I don't know. What do you think is the most overrated city? Boca? I don't know. I think West Palm Beach is oh, overrated. I really do think Palm West Palm Beach is overrated. There's the guy. Oh, yeah. So that's a good point. So this guy's been here for 50 years. Um, it's kind of a staple of downtown Cape Coral. Um, Madison, Wisconsin, if you like the Midwest, is okay. Madison, Wisconsin is okay. They have a lot of uh, Latin restaurants and stuff. It's kind of a more, um, diverse city. You can smell urine. Somebody just pee themselves in the sidewalk. <laughs> There's Razzle Dazzle. We can walk through there, right? Let's walk this way. Let's walk this way. So this is a staple of Cape Coral right here. Um, you know, Cape Coral... You know, the people that used to move here from New York and New Jersey, uh, they used to be like old Italian people. You know, like they would go to Italian restaurants and there was a there used to be Italian restaurants and Greek restaurants. There was it was a classier group of people, you know, like you'd be like you'd see a bunch of Cadillac DeVille's with Ontario and Quebec license plates. It used to be a classier group of people that would come to Florida. But the generation that's retiring underneath them is a completely different generation. And they're just not 
the world is trashier today, basically. There's no real pretty way of putting it. It's just a trashier world we're living in. This business is really well branded. It's called Razzle Dazzle. So true. I, when I was a kid, you know, I used to work in Italian restaurants. And, um, you know, my jobs were at Italian restaurants. You know, they, uh, most of my jobs were at pizza places. You know, it was an old guy that came down from New York, uh, you know, might have had some mob ties or something and thought he was the baddest person in the world. Died from a heart attack at some point from eating so much calamari. You know what I mean? Those were the days when Florida was, you know, like the old New Yorkers. I don't know what happened. This new breed of New Yorker has nothing to do with the old New Yorkers. I'm talking like the New Yorkers that used to come down here and open a pizza place with some mob money. You know what I mean? To launder money or whatever. It was different days back then, you know? Florida was a much classier place. But nowadays, Florida just isn't that. I mean, I, I think the legalization and the attitude of people towards a lot of stuff has just made it where it's become normal to be a junkie. And let me tell you guys, if you're watching this YouTube video, it's not normal to be a junkie. I don't judge you for it, but... You know, it's not normal. There was a, a, a stigma with, with being like that that doesn't exist today. And that's like people, the same people that complain about their safety, how they don't feel safe, how they want they want the world to be a better place. They want more safety. I'm like, well, you know, are the same people that are pretty much... Because once you get caught in that crap, man, your life is down the drain. One beautiful thing about me and Katie is that we've been able to stay clean Stay off of all that. Not mix with people that are doing bad stuff. Stay, you know, stay to ourselves. Be happy together. Um, we all have, we have our challenges. We have our challenges. Like, yeah, you're absolutely right. The world's kind of regressed. It's definitely not getting better. Um, I thought there was a, a alleyway we could cut through here. No, we gotta no? walk around. We gotta walk around the whole block? Yeah. That sucks. You're going to pass out on me? It's hot and humid. No, I guess. You'll make it? Yeah. My headache's going away. I think the walk helped a little bit. Oh, they got cops over here. Look. Circulate your blood. Cool. Yo, the stats gives us almost a whole dollar. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's just like in Naples. <laughs> but uh, one thing I hear I've noticed Florida is the some cities are ghost towns at night. I used to hustle and... Bustle. Yeah, some cities are ghost towns at night, but some of those cities, like Naples. Dude, Naples used to be a complete ghost town at night. And nowadays, Naples... I wonder if we can cut through here. No, it's fenced off. No. We gotta go all the way around the block. Yep. Yo, they're throwing money at us. Thank Calypso you. gives us $10. Thank you so much, Thank Calypso. You. We appreciate it. It's kind of sketchy walking through here. This doesn't feel that safe. <laughs> but yo, the stats... Cool, the stats. Yeah, we're almost back to the car, guys. Stats is in the house. Thank you guys so much for the super shots. You guys are really making it rain. Yeah. Same thing is going to get a lot worse better. Yeah, it's not going to get any worse. We just have to stay focused on our families. Um, try the best you can not to put anything in your body that's going to harm it. We're trying. We are trying. It may not seem like I have people that are kind of a little almost bullyish. We're trying. Stay off the line. Yeah. The draft, you don't want to get run over. <laughs> it's 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 one of those deals where you just got to focus, stay away from people, be alert. And we have fun. We get out and we do stuff. You know, you got to keep living. You can't let the world's condition let, bring you down. You got to just stay focused. Love your walking and romantic loving each other so much. Yeah. People don't realize that about us. People think we're just like this horrible mismatched couple and we don't like each other. To me and Katie, all the time. we're holding, y'all don't even know this, we're actually holding hands. Y'all don't even know that. Y'all don't even know we're holding hands, the cops are gone. Oh man, I wanted to see the cop. <laughs> cops are gone. We, we have a lot of, uh, we're always together. Like, how many couples can say that they're always together like we are? Best place in the country for a young Latino to make big and have a wonderful, rich life? Well, the wealth of a Latino doesn't come from how much money you make. The wealth of a Latino comes from being near your family and the people you love. And maybe where your family lives 
you're never going to obtain that fabulous rich lifestyle. But if you're near your parents that need you, if you're near your family and the people you love, hey, you're rich already. You're rich and you don't even know it. You know, your, your wealth doesn't come... Your wealth doesn't come from the cars you drive, how much money you make. Your wealth comes from being around your family, the people you love, being able to help your parents. But if we had to put it on, on a monetary level, where I see Latino people prospering are places like Miami, New York, um, or on the Atlanta area, especially on the northeast side of Atlanta, um, Houston, San Antonio. But these are hectic lives, man. And keep in mind, a lot of people are fake it till you make it. Like you go to Miami and you see people driving expensive cars and, and, and living in you know this life. And you might think, look at the flowers, babe. Beautiful. You might think they're living this splendid life, you know? You go to Miami and you see people driving all these new cars. Bro. Están pelado. You understand? It's it's not real. The car has a payment. You know, like they're fake it till you make it, people. So it's very hard to tell where Latinos are really prospering because there's so many places where like Houston or Miami where people try to pretend like they're living above their means, but they're not really doing crap with their life. It might look like they're going somewhere, but they're really not. Um, here in Southwest Florida, you know, I think a lot of it depends not even on where you live, but on your own spending habits. Now, I will tell you this. When you move to a different place, your economy will change. Okay, when I lived in Naples, there was an economy there. When I lived to Alabama, there was another economy there. And when I moved back to Fort Myers, there's a different economy here. So different places have different economies. And you might make more, you might make less. You might spend less. Ideally, you want to make, be in a place where you can make more and spend less. The problem with Miami and Atlanta, these big cities, is you make more, but you also spend more. So you're, you're like a gerbil. You're like a gerbil, not really going anywhere. Want to sit out here for a few minutes before we leave? Get in the car? Yeah. All right, get in the car. I'll meet you in a second. Okay. Here you go. Katie's all burnt out from that walk. <laughs> she got all dressed up pretty today. Uh, where's star stretch when you need them? <laughs> it is so hot and humid out here, guys. It is unbearable. My husband is from Gadsden, Alabama. Be safe out there. I said it. No, esto está de madre. El mundo está feo, mi hermano. Esto está de madre, bro. My parents are dead. I only have no other family than my brother. No amount of money will fix that. Yeah, I get you, man. That is definitely true. Um... That's a hard question to ask. There's definitely places where you can do better. And there's definitely places where you can do worse. Um, wow, it's so hot and humid out here. Oh my gosh, it's unbearable. Unfreaking bearable, guys. How does Katie deal with the hot weather? Staying inside all the time? That's really the only thing you can do is just stay inside. It is just so hot and unbearable. I don't. Yeah, basically she doesn't. She just struggles with it. Her health is really... I feel like our health was a lot better in Alabama. You got to be a hermit. Is your Toyota hybrid? No, but it gets 40 miles to the gallon. Can't beat that. Can't beat that for sure, man. If a little breeze came through or something, but nothing. Do you believe Florida has the perfect climate? If No, it definitely doesn't. No. I hear California has perfect climate. Florida is definitely not perfect. It's the best climate in the winter. But the winter is not the whole year, my man. Do we eat healthy? We try to make changes slowly to our diet right now. Um, we're trying. Guys, I can't... Whoa, Pam. Thank you so much, Pam. The irony of Florida is that people move there. Pam says thank you. You're welcome, Pam. Thank you guys so much. 
Yeah, the Alabama weather was definitely better. I know four is that people move there for the warm sunshine and give up spending money. Yes, the AC gets bad. Katie, you start blocking. We got we're being attacked by the We're being attacked. Cyber attack. Let's get it under control, guys. We're being attacked. We have a cyber attack real quick. <laughs> Nobody ever clicks on that garbage. What do those people think when they do that? It's, a, it's like a cyber attack. Florida heat is too much. Dude, this is unbearable. We try to get out and do stuff. Like tonight, if this was Alabama, we could have been out for four or five hours. There's no being out here for four or five hours, guys. This is unbearable. It was a higher four today in Central California. Dry heat tomorrow, 107. Central California. Is that Central California or Central Canada? But, uh, Jose, I've been worried about your and Katie's self recently. Man, I'm worried, too. But there's not a lot we could do. Like, when we travel, I, we try to get out. But this is just unbearable. The irony of Florida is that people move there for the warm sunshine and then end up spending most of their time staying in the air conditioner. I gotcha, I gotcha. Okay, California. Okay. Yeah, I mean, California has a few spots that get very hot. I know that. The valley, yeah, it's unbearable. Pretty much a desert. But then, you know, like, some parts of California have perfect weather. Who's <sighs> Leesburg? It's okay. Um, I don't really like Leesburg. No offense. Um, just not me. I love our new car right now, though. Man, I better like it. I'm going to be stuck paying this car for the next six years. Unless Katie and I start making double payments on it, then we can knock it out in, in about three years. Just under three years. But if I don't start making payments, they double the payment. We're going to be stuck paying this thing for six years. Now, that might be normal for some of you guys, but for me, having a debt that long is definitely there's some people riding a bicycle for me having a debt that big for that long definitely not definitely not cool we're in cape coral downtown cape coral right in the center of cape coral i switched from an suv to a more fuel efficient sedan and couldn't be happier yeah fuel efficiency my man is definitely worth it fuel efficiency is is important like, I'm not going to lie. I, uh, I'm good with the fuel efficiency. This store, Razzle Dazzle, has some really neat branding. Thank you guys so much for the support. Really appreciate it. Um, I love your, uh, I love your, Analysis on Oklahoma, very informative video. Yeah, you know what? They took it down. I'm going to have to re-upload it. I'm going to have to re-upload the video about Oklahoma for some reason. You know, it's frustrating how I'm, I'm sending out a message of positivity and they knocked down my video because they said it's not appropriate for minors. But you go on, what are rap music videos? Teaching kids to do all the bad things. They don't get a copyright warrant. They don't get a... What do you call these things? They don't get a, a, they don't get an adult, you know, the, you know, the, whatever they call it. Let's see what this store is about. Razzle Dazzle. Razzle Dazzle. Look in here real quick. It's, <laughs> oh, they've been here for 30 years. Okay. Are your vehicles related, expense deductible? Yeah, we write a lot of stuff off. The problem with writing stuff off is that and eventually to get a mortgage, we're going to need to stop writing stuff off because if we're always writing stuff off, we're never making income. So you're never making income when you're writing everything off. So eventually we're going to have to switch away from writing stuff off and more into um, away from that, you know, because if we're going to get a mortgage, we got to stop writing stuff off. And I can write off so much stuff that it's crazy. Like, I thought I was going to end up paying. I think it was like, I thought I was going to have to pay back like $12,000 this year. My 
tax lady goes, no, Jose, you're actually going to pay like 2000 And I looked up my income. I was only like $16,000 last year. I was like, really? She's like, yeah, after, you, after your write-offs. I'm like, can you make it say 30000 because we're trying to fix our income so we can finance a house in the future? And my, my, my tax lady refused to do it. She was like, nope, that's what your income was. That's what you got to pay. I'm like, what if I decide I don't want to write stuff off? She's like, no, you have to write it off. So we ended up taking a loss this year, which is going to delay us another year to our goals of, um, oh, yeah, miles are a huge write-off. This car here, when I bought it, it had 15,000 miles a month ago. Okay. A month ago, this car had 15,000 miles. I'll show you where it's at now. Hold on. Yeah, I don't work, people. Uh, we are at almost 24,000 miles, so... I'm almost 9,000 miles. No, almost 9,000 miles in a month and a half. Yeah. So, yeah, we're definitely, uh, it's beautiful. I love it. It's got adaptive cruise control. It's a beast. Adaptive cruise control. It gets, as you can see, It's uh, when you're driving it, you get 40 miles to the gallon. Um, it is definitely neat. Um I'm not going to complain about it. I like it. It's definitely a cool car. Um, it's it's. I'm not going to complain about it. Let's see here. Let's see what the stats are on it right now. Let's go through here real quick. We got good tire pressure. Right now it's at zero because we're not driving. It says 27 miles per gallon, 22 to 27. But keep in mind, we sit, we, we sit idle a lot, um, you know, and you can drive. Um, I'm not going to complain. I like the car, that's for sure. But, you know, we've already put, like, 9,000 miles on in, three, in a month and a half. So we definitely, when we hit these road trips, let's hit the road, guys. What brand of Toyota? It's, it's a Camry. It's a Toyota Camry. Okay. Uh, my family's always been a fan of Camry, of Toyota. So I, when I went with this car, my family was very happy because they are all Toyota fans. All my brothers, sisters, dad, the whole family. I'm going to put this up here real quick. Oh, the whole family, uh, from my dad to my sister... My brothers, like we, they're all Toyota fans. My both my brothers. <sighs> Turn this thing off. Yeah, his dad was really excited when we got this car. Tell him why, Katie. Because he wanted the first thing he asked him was, Are "You gonna put rims on it?" Because he wanted the rims and he got them. He wanted the stocks off my this car, so you guys saw that I put red wheels on this. Yeah. So my dad. He knows that just about every car I get, every car I ever get, I, yeah. sh I put rims on it. That's me right there. Um, and then about a little bit, once we have it a little bit, he'll be like, so when you get the new one? So, yeah. yeah. So when I brought the car and I showed it to my dad, yeah. the first thing my dad says is, are you going to put rims on it? And I was like. He yeah. wants the stocks off it, yeah. Yeah. And I do. It's to my dad, bro. Whatever he wants, he gets it from me. Yeah. That's one thing about my dad. So I was like, "Don't worry about it. I got you." So uh, day comes around. I went up to Alabama. I put the wheels, and he got the stocks. Ew! What the crap? That was on my neck. Ew! What is that? It's like a giant ant-looking thing. Ew. Probably fell off an oak tree or something. Yeah. Dude, I've gotten at least ten. Uh, at least 10 fire ant bites today. Oh. Unbelievable. So, yeah, that was very happy to get the stock wheels off of this car. Um, it came with factory 18s. So I got 20s in Alabama on some Lexani tires um, because the tires weren't that good. But my dad, he really wanted these stock wheels. Go figure. They're probably worth a $1,000. There's no way he can buy that. He's on a fixed income. Mm -hmm. So he was really, really excited when he saw that my car that I bought, the stock wheels fit on his car, 
and he knows I was going to get rims on it, it just made his life that much happier. So he's happy for sure that I got yeah. Toyota. Yeah. Yeah. Katie, what are your thoughts on the car so far? I like it. We've, we've never had a car like this. Mm -mm. Most of our cars have been General Motors. Yeah. I like the back support <clears throat> that this has. Like, I sit a lot better in it. I'm not going to say there's complaints about this car for me. Like, the actual bottom of the seat is a little bit more comfortable in the truck, but the back, the back has the right shape for me, and I really like it. So, if you're struggling to make... Um, I want you to read Calypso's comment when you guys, when, when, once I finish. Okay. If you're struggling to make the decision to go with a Toyota, they're more fuel efficient, they're more reliable, you're tired of the Mercedes-Benz, the BMWs, and in my case, I bought a GMC Silverado, brand new piece of junk. If you're tired of those cars and you want something reliable, but you don't like Toyota, the new Camrys are very stylish. This thing is beautiful red paint, uh, beautiful interior, every gadget you'd want, adaptive cruise control. I went with a red color because, like I said, I'm, more, I'm a more of a flamboyant person, so I didn't want to go with, like, a gray Camry or a gray Corolla. So I found a red car, I put some rims on it, and now it looks as cool as any Mercedes-Benz or BMW, but I'm getting 40 miles to the gallon. Katie, what's the comment say? Calypso. Yeah. She, read, De it, read it. I am. <laughs> Deborah Lean, they do happy hour and go to bed early. I know I laugh with my family all the time. If you don't know what you're going to do for dinner by 4 o'clock, uh, you're out of luck. <clears throat> One thing I like about Florida, too. Um, but, yeah, before I move on to Florida, uh, Toyota. I'm gonna make a video about it. If you're thinking about it, um, find a color you like, you know, because it's definitely not a BMW. It's definitely not a Mercedes Benz. But I'm comfortable with it. I'm okay with the styling points. Like it's got a beautiful red paint. I put some rims on it to make it look nicer. And now I have a car that looks cool, but is definitely reliable. Because I'm definitely not gonna buy a Mercedes Benz or a, a BMW and, and have Three thousand dollar repair bills. You know what? I'm done with that. Let's go follow the action. Yeah. <clears throat> Florida. It's nice to be able to get dinner late at night. It's nice that there's some type of nightlife. Not here in Cape Coral, but in most of Florida. Hook that up so I can see the map. <laughs> you notice how many viewers we've had during this live stream? A lot. Over a hundred the whole time. That's crazy. Yeah. We got Renard Grant from Rogers Park in the house. Yeah, buddy. Michael wants to know if we've been to St. Augustine. Yeah, it's beautiful. If you've never been to St. Augustine, it's probably one of the top three things you need to see in Florida. I mean, number one thing you need to see in Florida is the Florida Keys. You, at some point in your life, you have got to make that drive down there and see the Florida Keys. The Florida Keys is, like, to me, the pinnacle of, uh, of Florida travel. Um, what, do you agree with that? Huh? Uh, the Florida Keys is, like, an absolute must. Yeah, I want to go back to the Keys soon. Florida Keys is a must. Yeah, I love the Keys. It's at least once in your lifetime you want to do it. Uh, trust me, the Florida Keys. Now, it is expensive. You know the hotel that we stayed at? We paid, what, $300 a night? No. Yeah. That hotel, when we looked it up during the winter, was like $3,000 a night? Yeah. What is it now? Do you remember what it's like called? $200. Isla Bella. Look it up. Look it up just out of curiosity. What would it be cost to stay there tonight? Because, you know, there's times of the year where you can stay at a hotel for $300 a night. And there's times over the year where that same hotel is a thousand, two thousand dollars. Two twenty-seven for next week. Oh yeah. Two sixty-four. That's still pretty good. On what? their side. Wanna um, wanna run down the keys this year? I mean, there's only so many times of the year when it's affordable. And don't they have that room that's like two bedrooms? We could take that. Yeah. 
Yeah, take that with us. We'll look, we'll look into that later on in the month. Take that down to the Florida Keys. Mm-hmm. And he'll have his own room. Yeah. Yeah. And he's still yeah. got to share the bathroom, but he'll get his own room. No, there's they two. They had two bedroom? Two, two bedroom, two bath. Oh, wow. Yeah, we should definitely look into that. That's not bad at all. But that same hotel would be unreasonable. Mm-hmm. There, there's Is this where it goes north? Or it's further down? Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's just running to Fort Myers. Let's, nah, let's make it a Cape Coral night. Switch it up. Stay in Cape Coral. Yeah. We'll run north in the North Fort Myers. Mm-hmm. I can't believe we've had sing. Well, Cape Coral is not bad. Is that a metro diner? Yeah. Sure enough, it is. Yeah. Well, they have enough business here to put, keep it a business. Yeah. Oh, I think we went too far. We're supposed to turn there. We missed our turn. Oh, okay. user. Yeah. I can't believe we've kept this live stream on over 100 people. We're definitely doing better. Well, thanks, Larry. We'll be in Michigan uh, sometime in the near future. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I love Michigan. Um, somebody said earlier about buying land. Mm-hmm. I, I, I was looking at pieces for $200,000. Mm-hmm. You can get four acres directly on the lake. That's what I want. In the future, we'll look at doing that. And I could build a house ourselves. Yeah. You've already done it before. Yeah. And there's, I don't think there's as many building codes and crap up there as there are in, in Florida. I don't think there's none, actually. Mm-hmm. But it'd be nice to have a house up there, you know, on the lake. I don't know the building uh, right codes. Outside of Mar- right, right outside of Marquette. Right outside of Marquette. You can get... F- two acres on the water for two hundred thousand dollars yeah if you could find like a let's say like a half an acre lot half an acre lot on or an acre for a hundred thousand yeah right on the lake i'm talking with like a beach in your backyard yeah i don't know does anybody i know on my mission videos didn't get that many views but let me tell you man what an under michigan is a very underrated well we state. didn't cover the places that you'd actually get views yeah, yeah we did it for us mm-hmm. but those lakes in michigan they're beaches like the water is super clear yeah because they're huge sand it's like having a beach in your backyard but instead of like palm trees you just got like natural rocks and pine trees you know it's definitely a frigid environment yeah but man like for a hundred thousand dollars you could buy like an acre yeah. Right on the lake. Did you see the ones that I saved on Realtor? I haven't looked at Realtor in a Dude, long time. they're gorgeous. And if I have been, I've been looking at more local yeah. stuff because I'm trying to see what's actually staying on the market and what's not. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not interested in buying real estate unless it's good real estate. I'm, I'm not ever buying crappy real estate. Mm-hmm. When I buy real estate, I don't think the bottom is going to be attractive moving forward. You know, a lot of people made money on the bottom, but I don't think the bottom is going to be attractive forever. I really think it's going to be more of a... Yeah. I think it's going to be more of a... Yeah. Good real estate. People are going to want good real estate, not yeah. crap real estate. Because all these te- all these people right now, they're settling. They're all settling for crap real estate. Yeah. They're going to want, you know? Uh-huh. They're going to want that acre on the water. So, what are they saying, babe? Uh, they say, order your med online. Take digestive enzymes. They are the best for the gut. I, I have to try that. Yeah. Have I tried that yet? No. We have to try that. That makes a lot of sense. Uh, Pierre Trillian says, I found Cape Coral Strange. Very few people out on Friday night. Rest of the week was a ghost town. Weird. Yeah, Cape Coral is definitely weird. Yet there's a lot of people that are like nocturnal. They just drive around late at night. I don't know what the crap they're doing. They just drive and hang. You know, just driving cruises and all thing here. Yeah, Cape Coral is definitely a weird place. It's um, I used to like it, but I, I used to love Cape Coral and speak highly of it, but it's become kind of weird. The, 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 there's just been too much of a. Uh, just trashy people. They around. say digestive enzymes and turmeric capsules. They're the best for the gut. We we take turmeric in a in a gummy form. Yeah, that's in the gummy, but yeah. like actual turmeric. I put it on my food. Yeah. If I make something for me, mm-hmm. like if I make rice for myself, I'll put turmeric in it. Yeah. 
Well, I said I have those capsules at home. I just don't take them. I have somewhere I've had them. You know. Yeah, Cape Coral was weird how it changed. It went from like, like if you come here during the, like I think COVID, all those people from New York and New Jersey came down here. Yeah. And they just burnt it out and then left and and that was it. Like it seemed like it was popping. Because all those people were buying houses yeah. and they were going to restaurants, but once they burned it out and they figured out it wasn't for them, mm-hmm. yeah, I think a lot of those people like they figured out this wasn't for them. Yeah. So they come in waves, you know. You had two, you know, two years. All these New Yorkers and New Jerseys came down here, yeah, and they filled up restaurants and and maybe they'll do it during the winter, you know. Uh-huh. It's maybe just, they're snowboarding now. Maybe they're just doing it. They're, maybe they're going back to snowboarding. Yeah. Who knows. People are so unpredictable. You don't know what the crap they're going to do. There's years where they stay the whole summer. There's years where they snowbird. It's They're very unpredictable. Yeah. Paula wants to know if Cape Coral has a beach. Not technically. Yeah. Uh, they have... You're going to have to go to Sanibel. They're not far from beaches. Yeah. It's going to take 40 minutes. You're not far from a beach. But no, there's no real beaches in Cape Coral. The beaches are in Fort Myers. Crap, I bet if we went to down Fort Myers Beach, there'd be there'd be nightlife tonight. Yeah. But I'm tired. Want to go home? Whatever you want to do. I'm wide awake, but... You're wide awake? Want to go to, Cape, uh, want to, go to Fort Myers Beach? Sure. Pam mm-hmm. says, my husband had a 2016 Toyota Tacoma. The sunroof drain system became clogged and backed up into the electrical system on Friday. What type of car was it? Toyota Tacoma, oh. 2016. Yeah. $8,000 repair estimate at the dealership. We had always bought Toyotas. Yeah, well, sunroofs are bad in all cars. They're not they're not they're not going to last in any car. Um I have a, a somebody that they had a Mercedes-Benz and the same thing happened to them. You know, it looked like the coolest car ever and pretty much right now it's probably on its way to a junkyard because uh the sunroof, the water came into the sunroof, came up the panels, and then it, it wet three computers. Because what they're doing now is the cars that have sunroofs and moonroofs and all that, or the whole roof comes off or whatever, what they're doing is that they're putting computers in places where when your car's sunroof starts to leak, that water will leak all the way down and it'll burn three or four computers. And those computers are worth $3,000 a piece. So now, not only do you have water damage, you have a sunroof damage, but now you got $8,000 in electrical problems that you have to repair. And you can pretty much end up towing a car like that. I, in fact, I've seen it happen on Mercedes-Benz's. So yeah, these uh, it's a good thing this car doesn't have it, really. Uh, they eventually fail. It doesn't matter what brand, BMW, Toyota, those things eventually fail. And when they fail, they are expensive to fix. Right? Yeah. Alright guys, so we're going to cross over into Fort Myers. You want to go to Fort Myers Beach and find the homeless guy? Beat him I up for him? Uh-huh. We can drive to Fort Myers. I heard he tries to take people's wives. Yeah, he hits on people too. He said he's he's known. He's not a. Yeah. There's people that were saying that I, that I staged it. No. But a whole bunch of people came back and said, "No, this guy's actually like known in town for doing stuff." The that homeless guy that headbutted me. He's like a local celebrity. Everybody knows him. They want to know if you can live comfortably in forty fifty thousand dollars a year in Florida. How much would that be weekly? Um. Less than a thousand dollars. Yeah, yeah, you could. You, you could. Yeah, you could. You could because that would be 4000 almost a 1000 a week. A one bedroom is like 16 1700 So, yeah, I think you could. Yeah. You're not going to live the way we live. I mean, we, we're kind of retarded. Yeah. You're not going to really, like, be vacationing. Yeah. But hold on now, but we're saving on housing. Yeah. Most people are going to do better housing than we are. Yeah, you could probably do all right on that. You're not gonna be balling, but you'll be you'll you'll, you'll be you'll be good. Yeah. And that's assuming that you rent an apartment for fourteen hundred or fifteen hundred, like a one month bedroom, one bath. That's not assuming 
you go now and you rent a house that's got three bedroom, two baths. That's not going to be your three bedroom, two bath, basically. You know? So, yeah, I mean, it'll work if you're reasonable. If you're not reasonable, then no. But if you're okay with, like, if you can find something for, like, $1,400 a month, $1,500 a month, yeah. If you're paying a $2,000 a month apartment, and then you got water, and then you got line, and this, and da 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 it, it might be a little bit tight at the end of the month, you know? Crossing over the river. Phil wants Jose versus the homeless guy for a deal. You guys want me to go to Fort Myers Beach? <laughs> I guess we could do it. So, okay, so we're going to drive from Cape Coral to the beach. How about that? What time is it now? 11. 11. So, see how long it takes to drive at night. At night, because in the daytime, it will take a lot longer, especially in the winter. Let's get that clear. Phil says he pays $2,000 for a one-bedroom, one-bath in Miami. Oh, yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah, I pay a thousand. I pay a thousand for for an efficiency in Lehigh, and I'm actually very happy with my living conditions right now. They're not majestic. It's not even like they renovated it. I mean, literally, it doesn't even have a full kitchen. But I'm happy. I it works. I, I'm not. What happened? You're not. <laughs> no, but uh, I don't know what that is, but I don't think it needs to go on the channel. We miss our exit? No, it's an address they put on here. I was like, I don't know what that is, but I know it shouldn't be on here. Okay. Are we, um, which is this? We're little right here somewhere. What street is this? So wait, if we're going to the beach from here, which way do we go this way? What street is it, Smoke Driver? Yeah, you gotta get, this is Summerlin, Summerlin. but it'll take you out. Summerlin. Just take Summerlin. Alright, just make sure we actually take a route that goes to the beach. No, no, we're going. Alright. Because, uh, well, you can get lost down here. No, no, you won't get lost. What's this, Summerlin? Yeah, trust me. Okay, Summerlin, no what? Stay on Summerlin. Can we just go along McGregor? Just trust me. Stay on Summerlin. You sure? Yes. <laughs> but that's not the road that goes to the beach. GPS Fort Myers Beach. See what it says. GPS Fort Myers Beach. See what it says. We're going towards Lakes Park. We're heading back towards Fort Myers. No, we're heading towards okay, the beach. Okay, let's see what it says. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Matthew Drive. Okay, that's done it. No, it's not. That's the way you gotta go. No, no. Trust going. me. Yeah. Turn right onto Matthew Drive. So I was saying, right yeah. Onto Sunrise Drive. It takes you there. All the right. Summerlin Bridge goes to Fort Myers Beach. All right, all right. I'll trust you. So we're in South Fort Myers now, and we'll see how long it takes to go from Cape Coral to the beach in real time at night during the summer. It's just understand those two parts of it so if you come down here in the turn winter time right sunrise drive then turn left on demand even nancy confirmed it you can get to the beach on summerlin <laughs> most of the time he thinks i'm an idiot but today most of the time right. you're a dang idiot women well that's like today when you're leaving the driveway and i was like katie you're gonna hit you're gonna hit it you're gonna hit it you're like i'm not gonna hit it and what happened you hit it This is summer. They say 12 minutes. I can already tell you. <laughs> 12 miles. Have I been through here before? This looks so familiar. <laughs> yes. We used to drive through here after getting someone, picking someone up. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't look familiar at all. I have no idea where we are. Oh, I see where we are. Yeah. At. Hey, we can go to the hood. Wanna to go to Pine Manor? Are we near the hood? Oh, baby, we can we're, we're go to the hood. We can go to Fort Myers Beach and then go to the hood. Why don't we just go to the hood first? 
No, let's go to Fort Myers Beach. Let's go to let's go at night in the Pine Manor and see people buying crack. <laughs> no. Well. Do we go into the hood or keep going to the beach, guys? What we are we doing? Got Brazil in keep the going. house. Ah, tá bom. A gente do Brasil. Que coisa. Ah, brasileiro, que coisa. Ah, gente do Brasil. <laughs> tá. Tá. Tá, tá, tá. 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 Brasil, DJ, fala agora. I would be the greatest Brazilian MC. It's really ghetto in here. Let's go in here real quick. These apartments were so ghetto. I thought they were gated. No, they're not. This is like, you can like literally score crack in here. This is like Why? so ghetto. This is like so ghetto. We're in Fort Myers. Most of North Fort, more, right, most of South Fort Myers. Road. Most of South Fort Myers is really Head nice. On Road. But this then area around Pine Manor is so hood. Turn right, then make These apartments are really, really ghetto. This is like the Douglas Park of Fort Myers. <laughs> Head west, then turn right. Oh, they got apartments turn for right, rent. Turn left. <laughs> yeah, you can probably rent sheep in here. Yeah. Yeah, this is like really ghetto. I'll find out. Why are there people at the leasing office at night? Turn right towards Summerlin Road, then turn right. Because people are nocturnal and they want it's Florida, and you want to rent at night. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody out. Yeah, this is like really hood out here. These apartments, anything near Pine Manor is like super sketchy at night. People walking their dogs though, it can't be that bad. Yeah. Mm, maybe it's not that bad, there's people walking their dogs around. I don't know, there's people walking their dogs, can't be that bad. Oh, so Who said that? Do I speak Spanish? Put your hands just poquito. That's like how you say no. Basically, I don't know. It looks ghetto, but there's people walking their dogs around. Where are we supposed to go to the beach? Why are we in here? You turned in here. You told me to turn in here. No, you turned. You decided you wanted. No, you wanted to see the hood. And I was like, well, why were we we're supposed to go to the beach? And then you wanted to go see the ghetto. No. Why are we in here? I love how you. It didn't work out for you, so you want to blame me. For Bro, this. like, why are we in here? I have so then much. Get out of here. It was your idea. It was your idea. Don't no, it wasn't. On me. It was your idea. What are you talking about? There's there's a hundred people in this. They're all going to say right Jose the is the problem road. here. If somebody right says Jose is the problem, road. it's going to be, I'm going to headbutt you. <laughs> but yeah, there, there's a little sketchy little area here. Turn right to stay on Summerlin Road. And guys, no, South Fort Myers in general is a good area. But this little spot here across the street is Mystic Gardens. Yeah. This is a bad area. They're, they're literally trapping all these apartments all through here. This area is bad. Continue on Got Summerlin Road for Julio one and a half from miles. Spokane in the house. Spokane? About a whole brick of Spokane. Spokane. Okay. Say it right. Spo Spokane. 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 Julio. I get my, my dad almost got a job there. Julio is his name? Yeah. Isn't there a song about a guy named Julio in Spokane that sold bricks or something? I don't know. Like, I get my bricks from Julio in Spokane. Something like that. Are you that Julio? Is that you, Julio? Probably not. <laughs> Julio seems like a very... Nice guy. Yeah. He's like, nope, I'm not watching this channel. It's trashy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, nope, this is definitely uh, had me fooled there for a minute. What are they saying, baby? Julio in the school year. <laughs> that was Phil. Uh, nope. Big mistake, y'all. Karen's right. old man is in the house. What up, man? <laughs> in half a mile, keep left to stay on the Got Julio road. cracking up here. Oh, he's cracking up? Yeah. Because there's, there's an artist called Stitches, and he's got a song about a guy called Julio that lives in Spokane that sends him cocaine, yeah. Sends him some nice packages. Yeah. <laughs> Stay on Summerlin Road. Like, no, there's really a song about a guy called Julio in Spokane. He's like, I get my bricks from who left? Keep going the correct way. Continue on Summerlin okay. Road for six I miles. get my bricks from Julio, Julio, 
Julio's my man. Sends me the bricks to the grant or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. You're not that Julio, are you? <laughs> All right. I love these lights. This is so cool. Not sure what they're going for other than making drivers for. There has to be a DUI checkpoint at the end of this. Because if you drive through here and you're not sober, you're going to be like mesmerized. Are we there yet? Oh, we got like five miles to All get right. to a turn and then you've got more miles to get there. <laughs> so about 16 miles in total. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll figure it out. Julio says, Como están te escribe? Has muchos yo soy originalmente de Argentina. Oh, vos son argentino. Why do we get so many Argentinians following us? Vos un argentino, un caballo, en un Toyota. Vos un caballo, en un Toyota. De Kendall Toyota. Phyllis says, are we there yet? Okay, so. No. We're not there yet. GPS says 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. So, it would be about 30 minutes to the beach on a good day. Yeah, I'm back. Katie's back, y'all. Julio es un argentino. Un caballo en la parrilla. Un caballo. Tiene un Toyota. Un caballo. <laughs> What's he saying? Why do we always Car get... trip humor. Dad, pull over. I need to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do we always get Argentinians up in here? I love making Argentinian impersonations. Yeah. Una crachola para el niño. I love the accent of Argentinians. They're just like, Someone they asked, would you recommend moving to Tampa from New York? New York? That's what, isn't that what you're supposed to do? If you live in New York? Yeah. Isn't that like what you're supposed to do? Yeah. I'm not a fan of Tampa, but hey, if they end up in Tampa and not down here, I'm, I'm not going to complain. Um... Places for New Yorkers. Cape Coral, Tampa. Boca Raton, if you want something fancy. New York, people love Naples, but it's expensive. Uh, um, yeah, there's a, a lot of New Yorkers move to Tampa. Phil says, I recommend moving from New York to Millbrook, Alabama. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, yeah, man. <laughs> No doubt. I mean, so that's, that's the guy who signed a seven-year <laughs> lease. Yeah. <laughs> that guy hates New Yorkers. He's like, y'all need to end up in Millbrook, Alabama. These folks down here, they're going to show you love. By se settling you for seven years and do a contract. <laughs> that is horrible. Right? You know you hate New Yorkers if you tell them that. Like, you're from New York. Come on down here in Millburg, Alabama. We're going to take care of you down here. Apparently, the New Yorker is from Rochester. Rochester? Yeah, you'll like Tampa. You'll like Tampa. It's an improvement. <laughs> it's an improvement of some sort. Yeah, you, you might like Melbourne. Try Melbourne if you want something smaller. Fort Myers or Melbourne. If you want a smaller town, try Fort Myers or Melbourne. So he's from New York. Mm -hmm. He's not from New York. No. He's from New York. He's not from New York. This guy's a New Yorker. Karen's old man says, yeah, they'll take care of you, I bet, in Al Millbrook. <laughs> yeah, Millbrook, Alabama's got something real special for you. Yeah. You won't leave. You'll never leave again. You, Yeah, if you're from New York and you end up in Millbrook, Alabama, crap, you'll never leave again. I manage a group for Alabama, and the amount of Cubans that are moving to Millbrook, Alabama, they gonna have fun. Hey, really? Yeah. I get at least two or three a day. Dude, so when I first started the, um, the Alabama Latinos group, it was like 20 people. And it struggled to grow. We're at like what five thousand people on that Facebook group. Yeah. There's they're not gonna be able to stop it. Mm -hmm. You know, like eventually, there's gonna be so many Spanish people in Alabama. They're gonna repeal the law. No, it doesn't matter what the law says. There's just they're not gonna you know, they're not gonna be able to scare everybody away. No. 
eventually they're gonna have to they're gonna have to deal with it. I don't know, move to Arkansas or something. <laughs> Even Arkansas will be like, whoa! Whoa, but we don't want that type of mindset here. We got enough of our own problems. How about West Virginia, though? They're like, oh, wow! Oh, why did you give the gene pool? <laughs> My oh. son had four eyes. Then he married a girl from Alabama that had four legs, and their kids look like a dang octopus. <laughs> Our family is proud. Not everybody in Alabama is that backwards, just 99.9.9% .9 of them. <laughs> that ain't right. Like, not everybody in Alabama is backwards, just about 99.9%. There's a small margin of error in there. I don't know how people from Alabama can stand to watch my YouTube channel. Because I'm being real. That's the thing. The, and they enjoy it. They enjoy it. Yeah, they really do. They, it's not often that they get, like, direct. Uh, yeah, direct uh, contact with the outside world. <laughs> or direct <laughs> criticism in general. Yeah. It's not like, well, your loan is... It's not like, well... It, in Alabama, they're not going to say well, you need to mow your lawn. They'll be like, well, it's been raining a bunch lately. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He got somebody in Alabama cracking up right now. Yeah. There's somebody in Alabama right now like, Jose, I'm going to go up there. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I'm going to go to Panama City Beach and I'm going to find you. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I go to Panama City Beach, I'm going to find you, Jose. You're not going to get away with this. They'll make it to Lake City and be like, wow. Yeah, they like make it to like Ocala and like, okay, we're done. Mm -hmm. You can keep it. You can keep it. <sighs> yeah, they send somebody to come find me down here. They'll get lost. <laughs> we should like, I wanted to bring those hillbillies from Alabama up to Florida. So they can see what this crap was like down here. Why they would, don't we? They would, yeah, we should just go to Alabama and find somebody like in, in, in Clanton. The left two lanes to turn like, hey, man, you want to go to Florida? I'm like, all right, let's go to Panama. I'm like, no, we're not going to Panama. We're, we're going to, to, we're going to Hialeah. We're going to see the real floor. We're going to take you to Hialeah. That would get a million views, taking a random out. Like, I mean, like a real, like, inbred type of person, like somebody, like, from Clanton. Like, where their eyes aren't even Use straight. The left two lanes to turn left onto Pine Ridge Road. That's not nice. Yeah. What am I doing here? You're turning left. Here? Yeah. Oh, I can't turn now. I gotta wait for this. Oh, okay. All right. Get out of my way! I'm crazy. <laughs> Why are we getting on Pine Ridge Road? Continue on that's Pine how you Ridge get Road there. for three quarters of a mile. This makes no sense. What are they saying, baby? They say Panama City is basically Alabama. Dude, I'm telling you, I don't even know why Florida has that. I think Tallahassee should be like cut off point. Even Tallahassee could almost no Tallahassee's Florida. Now Panama City Beach, it's weird, man. That part of Florida, I don't even know why that's like one. Florida could definitely like the Panhandle could just be its own state, man. Why are we on this road, dude? Because this is how you get there. This is the dumbest way to get to the beach I've ever gone. No, it's not. Esto es una basura city. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Florida 865, San Carlos Boulevard. Esto es una basura, man. Me has metido al fin del mundo a city. You get to turn left. Me has metido hasta el fin del mundo, man. I don't know why you bring me here for, man. Where are you at? Okay, I'm just, I'm just starting to look. Oh, look, Carlos they got mini. Want to play mini golf? It's probably too late. No, it's not. They're open late. Want to play mini golf? No. You would love mini golf. You really suck at golf. You'll love it. Continue for three. What are we gonna go play mini golf? We never do anything together anymore. I know when I want to play mini golf, but probably. Well, we should go play mini golf together. Just you and me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Me and you play mini golf. Okay. We never do anything anymore. We do everything together. Not play mini golf. 
Okay. Uh, somebody wrote a paragraph. What is it about? They say it's not trash. It's just Florida. It's more people in Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi consider Florida because that's the only part of Florida they've ever been. Yeah, they've never really seen the rest of Florida. They would be shocked if you brought them like to Miami or like you know like Hialeah or something. <laughs> <laughs> They've seen part of Florida. They've seen the whole thing. It's 1130 at night. What what business do I want to do playing uh, mini golf at 1130? That's when you play mini golf. Yeah. You're you're not cool, bro. I want a wife that is up for playing mini golf in the middle of the night. Do you want to drive to Miami right now? Uh, if I didn't have a headache, I would. Do you want me to drive? No, I really don't feel good. <laughs> not I don't feel good enough for that. Maybe next... I have a headache. I have a, I'm not feeling good. When I feel better, we can definitely go to Miami at night, though. We used to drive to Miami in the middle of the night just to go get race pizza. Mm -hmm. That's how unhealthy we are. All right, they're typing. What's up? What are they saying? Saying, when you think of Florida, I think of when when he thinks of Florida, I think of South of Tampa, Port St. Lucie, not Jacksonville and Panama City. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a whole different world down here. This is definitely different. I like the Florida Keys, man. Yeah. The Florida Keys is, is really awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. We're almost there. Are they riding bicycles in the road? Yeah. Oh, they're on the sidewalk. All right, All right guys. Welcome to Fort Myers Beach. In that weird lane. Yeah, I hate that lane. I don't even know why they have that lane. There's a reason. How about my blood pressures? Well, it wasn't high earlier when we took it. It was normal. No. All right, guys, we're just about to cross the bridge over in Fort Myers Beach so we can have round two of Jose versus the homeless guy. If we can find him. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Notice it's 35 on the bridges. It's 35 miles per hour on these bridges. Don't ever go any faster than that. Don't ever go faster than 35 on these bridges. That's the speed limit. I'm surprised I haven't got the low, for, the low, low battery signal yet. We should have been charging it. You want to charge it right now? Yeah, even if it's for a brief moment. Just charge it. Need to charge. Well, no, because we're going to be walking around here. You sure? Oh, what do you think you came here for? Drive around for what? There's nothing to drive around. Why are you so against walking? I just walked! A little, like 10 minutes. Like, we do. We, when I go live stream, I walk five or six miles, man. Ow! Maybe there's a reason... You don't walk. You walking, boy? No. Oh yeah, you walking? You were definitely walking. Nobody's out here. No one's out. Well, uh, it's totally it's dead. It's Monday. What do you? It's think? a Monday, but it's still for my Beach. Now there'll be somebody out. There'll be somebody on about. It's a Monday. Man, it's so train. hot. I just put my window down. And you, it, it's like burning hot. No wonder no nobody out like here. At all, for real? Like they're shutting down. There's some people. It's not. Oh, it's like shutting down. Dude, there's like nobody out here. <laughs> Is that him right there? No. That's a home of the headbutt of me. No. No. No, it's not him. There's like nobody out here. Mm -hmm. Why do I hear monkeys? You hear that? Yeah, there's a breed of monkey. Is there's monkeys here? From Florida, yeah. It's like totally dead. Nobody out here for real? Yeah. But what did it take? It took uh, 27, 25 minutes, guys. In 25 yeah. minutes, you can get to the beach from Cape Coral. Yeah. 25 minutes. What? There's nobody out here. I don't know, it's like totally dead. Hmm. 
Wow, I can't believe how hot it is. Yeah. Dude, there's nobody out here. It's oh, it is a Monday night though. Yeah. Yeah. I bet there's people in downtown Fort Myers, though. Somebody got shot yesterday in downtown Fort Myers. Right in downtown at night. I can't believe how dead it is out here. Wow. I wish I could play some music. Oh, you can smell the water. I love it. You can just smell the salt water. They're trying to turn this into like animal. Yeah, you can go. They're going that way or this way. I don't know if they're going that way. Oh man, you can smell the water. You know that smell of water? Stop. What's the stop sign? I don't know. Okay. Maybe people have to work LOL. And summer Maybe is people nearly have... over. Yeah, it's it's hot. It's hot. But you got a breeze coming in. Yeah. At least we're in a car. Imagine the night. Oh. It, it's nighttime. You're not going to see anything. Oh, up as far as what? Water. It's too dark. <laughs> uh, you can go see the water. Oh, it does feel good, though. There's a breeze. It's a very warm, like, in-your-face yeah. type of breeze. There's literally nobody out here. Is this the homeless guy that fought me? No. Trying to fight me? This is a whole different dude. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's nobody out here. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, there's nothing out here. I'm sure it's crap not getting out and walking around. There's nobody out. Yeah. Huh. Well, right, let's go drive along the beach. And then we'll head back up to downtown Fort Myers. Mm -hmm. I wish there was a third bridge to get across. Like, so you can cut from here to San Carlos. Uh-huh. Wouldn't that be awesome? San Carlos? Yeah. Like, one, one bridge to across. So there's, like, nobody out here, guys. It is dead. I've never seen Fort Myers Beach this empty. Mm -hmm. This is just about as empty as I've ever seen it. Sometimes there's more people hanging on that way, though. Well, it's Monday. It's hot. It's, it's just, hot. It's hot and humid. And people probably aren't on vacation right now because a lot of people are probably waiting for Labor Day. Yeah. How, how many weeks still that? Like two. Two weeks somewhere. September 5th. Oh, okay. Oh, man, you can feel that warm breeze, though. All right, guys, we're literally driving along the beach here. The beach is to the right. You can feel the warm breeze. It just feels amazing. Like, so much life. Look at the moon. Blue moon of Fort Myers, keep on shining. Shine on the one that left me blue. Blue. Blue moon of Fort Myers, keep on shining. Shine on the one that left me blue. This taco place is supposed to be good. Hmm. Right here. Free taco. Yeah. Blue moon of Fort Myers, keep on shining. Shine on the one that left me blue. Hey, there's a the hooties. There's a the hooters. There's a the hooters. Yeah, they're closed. Oh, this feels great, man. What are they saying? To feel the warm breeze of the ocean, holy style. F3M oh. says, what's good, Hermano? Greetings from Daytona Beach, man. Yeah, this feels amazing. Mm -hmm. Just to feel that warm ocean breeze, it, it puts life back into your body. Robert Day likes Hollywood Beach. Yeah. Look at the moon. 
There's one restaurant that had people. There's a few people there. I'm gonna grab a margarita. What? A margarita. Me? I do like me my pina colada. Hmm. Is there a Mexican place that makes good pina colada right here? You know me. I like I like it natural. Like it where it tastes where they got it. It was the real pineapple. The real. Coconut, not like mix. Let's go ahead and turn around somewhere. Mix and frozen. You can smell the cigarettes and bed bugs out here. Yeah. It is so hot. But it feel oh, you can just smell cigarettes everywhere. Ugh, I don't like that smell. Oh, sucks. Look at this little motel. That's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Look at this thing. Hello, Excalibur. <laughs> look, look at this motel. Yeah. Tell me that's like the most... Look at that. It's like a little mo old motel with like a pool in the front. Florida. Florida 101 right there, mm -hmm. bro. <laughs> no doubt, man. No doubt. Yo, somebody give us some money. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Jeff, happy Monday. Thanks for the live stream. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you so much. You guys are the best, man. Yo, we're up to $40 today. That's crazy. Unbelievable. You guys are the best. I can't believe how cool you guys yeah. are. Get him, JC. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Somebody was calling me, like, yeah, uh, anti-active, uh, like, saying stuff like that. JC's uh, like... <laughs> leave Katie alone. Does she have to be an Olympic athlete or what? <laughs> She'd be a sumo wrestler at this point. <laughs> Leave Katie alone. She is enjoying her stature. Oh, it's great. I, I can't emphasize enough how lively it feels. I could get out and sit somewhere, but I want it to be good. We can go. Let's go hang out in Fort Myers Beach. Let's go over there. Yeah. That tackle place was open school. Yeah, that, that looked good. I like tackles. Yeah. I For me, I like to have a burrito with chicken. Yeah. Well, even though we, we were up all night, and we, so this is kind of like we ate. That was breakfast. Breakfast, practically, yeah. I would like a like a like a virgin peanut right now. Yeah. Oh, is this place still open? Mm -hmm. right there. They're still open, aren't they? There's parking there. Are they open? Keep going. What's wrong? You can sit outside by the... What's wrong with that? You don't like it? They're smoking. They're smoking like grass? No, cigarettes. Oh, you can smell I, cigarettes? I don't like that. Yeah, I hate that smell. Yeah, I'm with you. I don't like that smell. Pina colada. Well, there's this little taco place. I think you got to pay to park there. It's a problem. I could go for a version of pina colada right now. People hanging out here. Oh, oh Podo. You don't like it? Yeah, let's go. Hmm? Yeah, let's get, let's go a little bit down a little bit. You don't like it? What's wrong with it? What's wrong? I don't have to like everything, okay? Too many hot girls outside? You get jealous? Too many hot girls outside for Jose to be around? I come out here by myself all the time when you don't want to come with me. No, I don't mind coming out here. Okay, I didn't like her voice, okay? Oh, this person singing? Yeah. Make up your mind, woman. <laughs> There's only like two places open. Yeah, I'm going to go to this type of voice here. You got to pay the park as a problem. You gotta like the, they get. You gotta pay to park. You gotta pay to park. There's like nowhere to park here. There's not parking there. No, you gotta pay to park there. Yeah, you gotta pay to park. Mm -hmm. Unless over here, but I'm pretty sure you gotta pay to park. Mm -hmm. Lanaka parking. 
$20. I'm not paying $20 a park. Oh, my God. Not a chance in the world. There's a circle. There's a gas station here, but you can't park in front of the gas station. There's no parking practice, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely not paying $20 to park. Oh, we can get something to eat in Fort Myers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is all tourist traps out here. I know. Pay $20 to park. Get out of my head, man. I'll pay $20 for food and that'll be a hit. <laughs> yeah. Then they drop you off and then pick you up later or something. <laughs> So there's really nowhere free to park on this whole island. I hate places like that, you know? That's the thing about, uh, I like about Panama City Beach. In Panama City Beach, you can park right in front of the water for free. That's like one of the huge advantages that Fort Myers Beach doesn't have on Panama. Panama definitely is a clear one there. Nowhere to park. Yeah. What's the point? And it's not touristy. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about touristy. Other than Panama, not Panama. Uh, that's the other thing. We never found one restaurant in the Panhandle that you could the say was incredible. There's one I want to check out next time we go. Every time we go by, the food smells like amazing. It's a restaurant where they treat you bad on purpose. Mm. What beach has the cleanest water? In Florida? Yeah. Uh, Destin? Probably. Probably Destin. Consistently the best Destin. Definitely Destin. Cop got out. Hmm? Cop got out. Okay. Parked in the room and got out. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if I can turn around here. But yeah, twenty dollars to park, that is ridiculous. That's not that's why they're empty. Yeah. I mean the tourists uh, the people that come from other places they'll pay, but I'm not paying as a local as a local, I'm not paying twenty dollars to park in freaking Fort Myers Beach. No. That's not gonna happen. Back to Fort Myers? Yeah. We'll drive up US 41? Yeah. That's crazy. $20 to park, man. Mm -hmm. Destin isn't that where Crab Island is? Yeah, that area. I think Destin, Miramar I Beach. I explore that area, like on the ground type thing. Yeah. I was talking to people that are there. I wonder if they're homeless. I might be homeless. Mm -hmm. They might be homeless. Mm -hmm. He's just talking to them, seeing what they need. All right. There's a few people over here, not too many. But with the cop here, you can't. You know, it's in the park here, but. Uh, you can smell the water. The water here in Southwest Florida is never clean. Alright, let's run back to Fort Myers. Yeah. I think you have to go back that way and pull your turn, right? Because yeah. people drive through here, but I can't really do that. You can probably almost do that. Yeah. You're good. Go ahead. You're good. You're good, man. There you go. JC, keep it clean! <laughs> what happened? All right, so what's the quickest way to get back on 41 from here? So what, it took, what, 25 minutes oh. to get to the beach from Cape Coral? So that answers your question. It took about 25 minutes to get over here. Sorry, I hit the wrong button. Yeah. I'm just... Now 
little refresh on mine. Yeah. <laughs> go. I remember it's 35 on these bridges. You speed, they ticket. Sorry, man. You you add so much to the conversation. <laughs> I accidentally hid you from the channel, but I unhid you. Alright, cool. Yeah. I hate that. I've actually done that to like several people. Yeah. Like somebody will give you a he, super... He's always I know somebody yeah. will give you like a super shot and then you'll accidentally like try to sink him and then like you end up blocking him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> somebody like, gives you a super shot. Like, Here's $10 oh. and then you block him. Like, oh. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, what I needed out of you. No. Yeah, it's like super complicated. Like, I've literally had people oh, like, block ah. me. I've done it. I've literally done it to like several people. I don't know why. I don't know if there's a way they can fix that. Well, <sighs> it's what you click and I. I don't know what happened. So. so it takes 25 minutes to get from Cape Coral to the beach. To Fort Myers Beach. No. So you can say half an hour. I wouldn't live in Dustin. <laughs> no, I, don't, I wouldn't live there. It's a great place to vacation, though. It seemed like... Didn't you think when we were hanging out there at night, it was kind of trashy at night? Yeah. I would say it was trashy at night. Yeah, it was a little It trashy. was a little trashy at night. Yeah, I wouldn't want to live there. It's a travel destination. It's not a living destination. I, I do like Panama City Beach a lot, though. Yeah. It's got, like, good vibes, man. It's I don't know incredible. about living, but, like, for a vacation, yeah. it's awesome. Yeah, it really is the is. right vibe for chilling out. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you there. I don't know about living there, but definitely vibes are awesome for, for vacationing. Yeah. And I am excited. I can't believe there's no Cuban restaurants on Panama City Beach. I think they just started one. Did they open one? Oh, yeah, I think they did open one, didn't they? Yeah. Was it Cuban or Colombian? Cuban. Cuban, where at? In uh, Sunnyside or uh, Rosemary? Panama. Right. Like, how do they not have a Cuban restaurant there? If I had the money, I'd open it. They did. I want to go to the Keys. I think the Keys is the number one vibe in Florida. And then after the Keys, Panama City. And then Miami, then La Olas and Fort Lauderdale. They opened that Boricuba Cafe. So there's a Cuban restaurant open finally? Yeah. Boricuba. Is it right in Panama City Beach? Yeah. What are they rating so far? 4.5 out of 431. Alright, so people have been going. Yeah. Yeah, and how do we not have a Cuban restaurant up there, you know? Well, at least, uh, let me see. Oh, wow. Does the food look authentic or does the it... Amer it looks authentic. The American people are actually liking the food. No, why wouldn't they? There's nothing like it up there. Remember we went to, uh, what's it, in Fort Walton oh, Beach? Oh, wow. They have uh, pina coladas. Nice. Yeah. Um, remember we went to um, to the projects in Fort Walton Beach? Oh, yeah. That was, there was a that Cuban was guy. There was a Cuban guy that was trapping Cuban food out of the projects. He, he ended up on Google Maps for a while. Yeah. Until they closed it. But, like, there's a Cuban guy, and he would go to the projects in Fort Walton Beach, Florida, which is right outside of Panama. It felt wrong. It felt wrong. It was like doing a drug deal to get some Cuban food. Yeah. It definitely felt wrong. But the food was on point. Was it? You and your dad thought it was okay. Katie didn't like it. But I, it was too oily. But mm. that's what dad likes, though. So. What train is this? This is somewhere. Is that the best way to go? Is it better? Why don't we go on uh, McGregor all the way up? We're on San ahead. Carlos. Summerlin, next signal. Maybe go a little bit further ahead or no? Well, let's, let's kind of 41 from the bottom. Let's take Summerlin so we can take 41 from the bottom. I think what you didn't like is that they're Afro Cuban and that food was very Creole. It had a very Creole taste to it. It was... You were scared because... The, okay. Yeah, your I problem, was scared. Look, your problem wasn't that the food wasn't good. Your problem was that you were scared that we were in the projects to buy Cuban food. No, that wasn't the problem. It just you were, was dude, come very on, dude. oily. You were, shut up. You were terrified. Uh, the drink was very good. I'll give you that. The drink was incredible. But the food was a little oily. Yeah. And the items we bought with... <laughs> this is fine. 
And uh, yeah, it was funny, definitely sketchy. Funny, but we can't allow that on the channel. Oh, this is something funny. Yeah. Come on, y'all behave. Bad days since we're there. And YouTube blocked it. I didn't. Oh, YouTube automatically figured it out. Yeah, Benny. Uh, they blocked that last one. Yeah. In the projects, baby. We have tried Argentinian empanadas. We bought Cuban food in the projects, baby. Ooh. We bought Cuban food in the projects, baby. Now where we went, we got Cuban food in the projects, baby. We got Cuban food in the projects, baby. Say now we got Cuban food in the projects, baby. We buy Cuban food. I'm in always the trying Don't to interrupt get me when I'm singing. Dang it, women. Why? How many times I gotta tell you not to interrupt me when I'm singing? We buy Cuban food in the projects, baby. We buy Cuban food. In the projects, baby. We bought Cuban food in the project, baby. Now it doesn't even sound the same. I had it going good, man. Now it doesn't even sound the same. Why would you do this to me, woman? The only thing that I ask you in life. You just got 10 people. I don't care if they're mad. I don't care if they're mad at me. We've had this conversation before. If I'm singing, don't interrupt me. Is the only thing I ask for you not to interrupt me when singing. Donald said she did us a favor. <laughs> the only thing that I ask you to do is not to interrupt me when I'm singing because if I lose the melody, I can't come up with that again, bro. When I'm improvising music, it's a spur of the moment. If you stop me or you start talking about your hair or something, then I can't, it doesn't sound the same anymore. Billy says you should beat me. <laughs> huh? Billy says you should beat me. I don't understand what's wrong with this woman. I have told you a hundred times, if I'm singing, don't interrupt me because I lose the momentum I had. Now it's not going to sound the same. We got Cuban food in the projects, baby. It doesn't sound the same. I lost it. I had so much momentum. I was about to compose an entire song freestyle. And you ruined that. What, what was so important? I was going to tell, tell a subscriber that like I tried to get you to take me to Argentina restaurants all the time. You could have waited to say that, bro. No. Yes. Yes. Don't interrupt me when I'm singing, woman. Like, no, it's never going to. That song will never be the same. Pam says Team Katie. No, Team Katie. What is like what? JC thinks you need a cerveza. <laughs> <laughs> no, like I've asked you so many times. Talk all you want, but when I'm singing, I'm in my natural ability to compose music. I think I'm having Bill's a stroke. Bill's taking your side here. Yeah, he knows he what I'm... He was like a man possessed with that song. Now it's gone forever. It's gone. Not everybody has the ability. That's what some people... Some people want to be singers, and they ain't got it. They ain't got it. Billy, you know? Billy's really singing your praises here. Yeah. Women get uh, mouthier by the day. Women are out of control. There's women right here who's out of control. Not everybody's, everybody wants to be a singer. Not everybody's born to be a singer. Some people, no matter how hard they try. Deborah here wants me to tell her when I can turn the sound back on. <laughs> what the crap? I told her to put her sound on. Okay, so look. The thing is that not everybody is a singer. Would you guys agree with me that not everybody's born to be a singer? Julio says Jose singing is not your talent, bro. Exactly. It's my I was it's my natural born It's not your talent. Like you don't have it. Some people ain't born with it, like I am. It's like I was saying, not everybody has the ability to just compose music. Yeah, he said you don't have it. I got Cuban food 
in the projects, baby. See, it doesn't even sound the same. I was going... This could have been on my album. This was going on Spotify. I was going to rent out studio time for the song. And then you started talking and messed it up, man. I got cute. Was it I got or we got? I don't remember the lyrics anymore. We got Cuban food in the projects, baby. It was like a soul, you know, like a soul. It was like, like you know, like, like the music video was going to be like a retro music, like in the 90s, you know, like, we got Cuban food in the projects, baby. Oh, yeah. We got Cuban food in the projects, baby. Oh, yeah. We got Cuban food in the projects, baby. You just lost 20 people. Wow, we're down to 70 subscribers. You're losing people by singing. Dang, how we, we had 100 people. What happened to everybody? You started singing. No, maybe we're in a bad signal area or something. What happened? There was like 100 people watching in a minute ago. You started singing with your Oh, it's not that voice. bad. It is not that bad. Jose, JC says, Jose, make a song called Trick You, trick you Better Have My Money. You better have my money. You better have. You better have, you better have, you better have, you better have my money. You better have, you better have, you better have my money. You better have, you better have, you better have my money. Now this car got a doctor cruise control. Oh yeah. But when I put my fist up in the air, Jose, ain't nobody... people are dropping immediately. Hold on. Now I know my new car has adaptive cruise control. But when you see my pimp hand, it ain't got control. Oh, oh, I know that this car has adaptive cruise control, but when you see my pan pan, it ain't got no control. Well, how, hey, we got KJ in there. How we get down to 70 people? You started singing. Right. There should be like 100 more people just lined up right here. Nobody wants to hear you sing. You think so? Yeah. No, I'm a genius singing, man. Uh, I'm like the no. next Lenny Kravitz. What's the guy's name? Here, I'm going to do the world a favor. Yeah. I'm going to be like, the, what's that guy that sings? Uh, what's his name? Charleston White? I'm like the next Charleston White, man. I can sing. I'm like a Charleston White. Is that can... the guy who didn't have a brain? Well, that's not nice, Katie. Why are you being so rude? I'm not. You are. You're being super rude, man. Just because you can't sing, you're jealous, man. That's all. Hate is gonna hate, dog. If you got a talent, look at Katie over here hating on me. Anyways, I got the biggest. I just. I got the biggest headache in the world. You ever have a really nasty headache? I've got one right now. Being in a car with you. Okay, we're starting to get more people now that you stop singing. Okay, what are they saying? Yeah, we're back to Nobody episode. knows who Charleston is. Charleston White? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Charleston White is a black guy who hates black people. Mm -hmm. Basically. Yeah. He's from Texas. And he's like... They're like... They're interviewing him. He's, he's, a, he's not a rapper. He's like a... I don't know, like a nut job, basically. I don't know what he is. He's just They've been he's a professional. He's a professional trash talker, basically. Like they'll be like, "Sir, uh, what can you do for the black community?" He's like, "Man, I don't care. The black community. I don't give a crap about black communities. I'm trying to move in a white neighborhood." I'm like, "Oh no!" If you have not seen this guy, he's like the biggest. This guy's gonna get famous. Apparently he's like he's a, a comedian. He's a comedian, right? He's he is hilarious. They're like, sir, so uh, what are you doing for the black community? He's like, black people, I ain't doing crap for black people. They ain't doing crap for me. I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> that guy is crazy. He's a guy from Houston. He's, he's crazy. He, You know how, like, people with like, all oh, free of the rappers or whatever, he'll go to, like, a free a rapper rally or whatever, mm -hmm. and he'll be like, he'll go there with, like, a loudspeaker, like, this rapper was sending out poison to the children. Don't free him. Lock him up even longer. <laughs> yeah. Like, like he went to a. Um, I guess they were gonna. Uh, it was like a like a like a parade or something. Like you know, like oh, free this rapper. They're protesting to free the rapper, and he'll go there. And he'll be like, 
They don't need to free him. They need to lock him up even longer. <laughs> he's crazy. He's yeah. like nuts. He's nuts. But he's interesting. I'll tell you that. He's definitely entertaining. Yeah, they think your headbutting thing was wild. Oh, they think so? Yeah, yeah. I still, yeah. yeah. That's just a normal thing in Florida, though. That's not really... Yeah. I'm starting to realize that some of the things that are normal to me... Yeah. ...in Florida are viral. Like the extraordinary things. JC says he would have knocked him out. No, I, I don't do that, man. Like, for me... I'm 280 pounds, bro. I can't beat up a homeless person. That ain't right. I wouldn't feel proud of myself for that. There's no way I could feel proud for doing that. You know? All right, guys. So we're now entering Fort Myers. We're in Fort Myers now. Yeah, that's not right, guys. Come on, man. All people tell me I need to beat up the homeless guy. That's not, that's right. not right. Come on, bro. You know that's not right. He, yeah. For some reason, he's homeless. And it looks like he has a mental illness. Yeah. So somebody, why would you beat up someone with a mental illness? He's got a mental illness, man. You you can't you can't hurt people like that, man. That, that's not right. No, okay. I could never I could never be a bully like that, yeah. man. Nope, not a chance in the world. Apparently that Charleston white guy maced Soldier Boy. He maced Soldier Boy recently, he did. Soldier Boy was like, Oh, he had like ten people. Soldier Boy hopped out of the van with like ten people. And the guy was like, oh, like, he was, like, talking crap. Like, Soldier Boy's like, dude, I got 10 guys right here, right now, ready to handle this. What are you going to do? We're going to beat you up. And he's, like, pull out a man, a can of mace and mace to everybody. <laughs> he's completely, like, the most obnoxious person you're ever going to meet. He's obnoxious. He maced Soldier Boy. Soldier Boy's going to beat him up, and he maced him. <laughs> That's not a fair fight. You're going to go fight. You got 10 of your homeboys. You're going to go jump this guy for talking crap about you. When you're in hitting range, he makes everybody and runs. <laughs> that guy's a fool, man. That guy's a complete fool, bro. What are they saying? The, he, JC said, Salt your parents tired of homeless people randomly attacking people. They can't be enabled. I'm not going to enable them. Eventually, some, that's the thing, because everybody says, oh, you know, I'll, I'm going to handle that. But nobody actually does anything in real life. Yeah, the thing is... That's just the people talking too much, bro. He ain't going to do it. You hit him. Even though he hit you first, you still go to jail. Oh, him. they're not going to arrest the homeless guy. No. Who do you think they're going to arrest? They're going to arrest him. Let me ask you this. Do you think they're going to arrest the homeless guy who will get a free bed and a free husband or me... Not only that, I can get sued. There's no if I beat this guy up, I guarantee you they're gonna sue me. You can't just beat people up. Let's say he hits me, I hit him back and I and I hurt him. Okay, he is going to sue me. He's gonna come after my cars, my land, my income. You're going to get sued. You cannot. Okay, let me just tell you, a friend of mine, somebody was at night was trying to break into the guy's house. Not in his house, they were trying to steal his car. He beats the guy up. He got arrested, and now they're trying to sue him. Okay, you cannot just beat up somebody if you have money. If you're homeless, it doesn't matter. But if you have money, you cannot go around beating up people because you're going to to get sued. You're going to get sued for medical. The guy's going to start going to therapy. Who do you think's going to pay for all that? You're going to pay for it. And when he's homeless, so his back is going to be all messed up. His his bones are going to be all bad. So when he gets an a x-ray, they're going to say, wow, this guy needs $200,000 to be normal. Who do you think's going to pay for that? You are. You, you got to use your brain a little bit more than that. You cannot go around hitting people. You're going to get sued. They're going to take your cars. They're going to take your income, whatever prop. When, when they put me into that, when the lawyer puts me through that system and they see cars paid off, they see income, they see that you own land, they're coming after all of that. Mm -hmm. You can't just go around hitting people because they're going to they're gonna take whatever you got. So he's homeless. He can do whatever he wants. What am I going to sue him for? He's homeless. You can't sue him. 
Yeah. And you can't fall for traps like that. So that homeless guy, he's going to go around and some old rich guy is going to hit him. And then he's going to sue the old rich guy and then he won't be homeless anymore. You got to use your brain. Gas is finally coming down. Yeah. That place is open right there, whatever the crap it is. Who's Dana? What do they say? JC says, yes, I'm telling him I can call Dana right now. Who's Dana? Not sure. But at the end of the day, guys, before you put your hands on somebody, think of the repercussions. <laughs> You're going to get sued. This, whole, this homeless guy goes to the beach, starts picking fights with people. Eventually, somebody's going to hurt him. When they hurt him, he's going to sue them. Pam says this, I have umbrella insurance for that reason, asset protection from lawsuits. I don't think we've talked, we should look into that. Yeah. We should definitely look into that. Because if our YouTube grows. It doesn't matter, you're yeah. already, uh, uh, I need to look into that, sorry. Yeah. We definitely need to look into that. Is it expensive yeah. to get umbrella insurance? It's a little expensive. How much is that monthly? Like, you, you people don't realize, like, when, when, when there's, like, a homeless person trying to fight you, <laughs> if you hit them, dude, you're going to get sued. You can't do that. That's a trap. Yeah. He may not even be that all that crazy. He may just be looking for somebody to hit him upside the head so he can sue you. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> what are they saying? Phil says, Pam is Acted in case she beats up a homeless person. <laughs> <laughs> You're good to go now. Oh man, yeah. Billy yeah. says that homeless guy would take home the fight of the night bonus. Uh huh. All right. No, bro, you can't go around doing stupid stuff. Believe me, bro. There's all. That's what people don't realize. That all these people that are going that video saying, "Oh, I'd hit him." You don't. You're not ready for Florida. Oh no! That's a trap. You hit him. He's gonna that's sue a trap. you. Trap. Yeah. He's gonna sue you, bro. Like that. That's not. They see a YouTuber. He might think I'm a millionaire. He might think I'm, I make millions or something. He doesn't know. They see a YouTuber. Oh, this guy might have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. You know, he's a YouTuber. This and that. He might have money. They're gonna try to set you up. Florida. They'll ride out in front of you on a bike. My my friend shot somebody in a nightclub. Mm -hmm. Uh, in Miami. And he told me it cost him like four hundred eighty thousand dollars. It cost, and he and they took away his medical license. He lost. Not only did it cost him like four hundred eighty thousand dollars, but he lost his. He was a, do, a practicing doctor, and the state took away his license afterwards. So he lost millions of dollars because he decided to shoot somebody in a nightclub. And of course, once you're in a situation where you know you have money. And you do something to somebody, you don't want to go to jail. So now they'll say, well, you know, if you put us through therapy and if you give us a few settlements and this and that, then we won't press charges. So that person, they can legally extort you for whatever you got for years to come. And they'll drag it out three to four years to where you might be with a point like, let me just give these people $200,000 and get them off my butt, you know? You got to be smarter than that, man. It's, it's real out here. There's all types of... Uh, when somebody's trying to get a reaction out of you, you need to be careful what type of reaction they're trying to get out of you and make sure you don't go that route. You gotta be a lot smarter than that. What are they saying, baby? Vernon O said put all your assets in your sister's name so you don't get you don't legally own anything. Now <laughs> you can beat down anybody. <laughs> no. No. You just got to use your brain, people. You know, they're obviously trying to get a reaction out of you. And the reaction that they were trying to get out of me was for me to hit the guy. So if I did it, who knows what type of backup plan they had. They might have just tried to get a lawsuit out of me. Call an ambulance, say I broke his... If he's homeless, you know how bad your back is if you're homeless from sleeping on the concrete? You go, you take an x-ray of that guy, his back is already messed up. They're going to say, oh, you messed up his back. Now you got to fix that. You got, you got to be smarter than that. 
They got all types of pain lawyers and all that stuff, man. I think that froze because we got 87 here. So. Yeah, it, it freezes. It's alright. As long as you can see what's going yeah. on over there. Mm -hmm. Good to go. They say your laugh sounds like Seth Rogen. Huh? They say your laugh sounds like Seth Rogen. <laughs> no. So. Oh yeah, they fixed the roads for the last 25 years. No, there's something happened. Somebody got shot. There's you cops sure? Yes, yeah, cops in the center. See if I can go up in here. Somebody got shot for sure. You Somebody got shot. Somebody got shot last night in Fort Myers. No, it's just more. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around it. See if I can get into downtown. Okay. Somebody got shot last night in Fort Myers. Oh, uh, yeah, alert. Henry and Second. Somebody got shot last night. 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. This car's just sitting here. Yeah. Hey, they got warrants or something. That's just sitting there. Why oh, does the car randomly on the road? This neighborhood has the most arrests in any area. Maybe there's a foot chase or something. There's no car. No. This area has the highest crime rate of the whole. Um, we'll go to Henry in second. I want to see where somebody got shot last night. Intersection of Henry in second, somebody got shot. This area is crappy. I got it from here. I'll find it. But, hey, yeah. So, I mean, like, you're out here. Let's see if there's any signal. It's a 7 to see if it comes back right. up. Mm -hmm. Came back up? No, you're still at 84. Well, they I think come back people up. are still watching. Yeah, it came back up. Um, yeah. And have, yeah, okay, so we're back on. Cool. So, the trick is when it freezes, mm -hmm. the trick is to go in. And disconnect that signal. Mm -hmm. Disconnect the signal, connect it, disconnect it, and that's what does the trick. You just gotta turn off the signal on and off, and that'll get it to happen. So we're in downtown Fort Myers, guys. Yeah. Pam got back to us. She says, I think my uh, tenant insurance umbrella policy was $250 last year for $1 million of coverage. That's not bad. Black screen? Oh, don't tell me black screen. Let me see. It's possible. It did happen last time. Once what your happens. black screen, your black screen did it? No. For a second, but not permanently. You fixed it from black screen before, so. Yeah, see if it's back. It is, is black. It, it is black screen? Hold on. Yeah, it's black screen. Yeah, it's right. black. I don't know if it's back or not. Mm, it's still black. Let me see. You gotta, like, flip it a few times. Yeah, yeah. Put it behind us? No, it's behind us. Let me know when it's, it's black. Let's yeah, see if we can get it to go black. back. Oh, we got it. We you got, got it. Back? We're good. Yeah. We're back? We're back. Okay, cool. We're back, guys. All right, cool. So we're figuring this out. Yeah. I mean, this used to end our live streams back in the day. Mm -hmm. You learn as you go, out. man. You learn yeah. as you go. So now we're in downtown Fort Myers. Mm -hmm. Where somebody actually got shot last night. Yeah. Now, I'm going to assume whoever it was probably had it coming. And it's definitely most likely an isolated incident that the rest of us probably don't have to worry about. Who's in the backseat? <laughs> what huh? you talking about? Nobody in the backseat. Smells like herbal essence here. It smells like herbal. I don't know if it's a Burger King or somebody lit one up. But it smells. There's not even a Burger King open late along Palm Beach or, or the whole area, is there? It's horrible how little there is out here. Once you get on that side over there, there's like nothing. Like, there is there even a restaurant, anything other than Waffle House, which is by the highway? Yeah. There's not even anything open late, is there? Not really. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, Charlie Bo? What are, you what are you guys talking about? Charlie Bo went to what? I don't think he's here. <laughs> no Charlie Bo. I don't think anybody knows what he drives. No, they're scared, man. Like, a lot of YouTubers don't put out too much information about themselves. Yeah. We're crazy for doing what we do. Yep. We are. For the amount of information that we put out about ourselves on the internet, we're absolutely crazy. But it's like, it's either this or, like, or not be who we are. You know, it's not easy. Yeah. See? 
So nobody in Fort Myers Beach. Let's see if there's anybody in Fort Myers downtown. Cars, but I don't see people. No, nah, sneeze loudly. No. Nah. So Cape Coral was dead. Fort Myers Beach was dead. Let's see what's going on in downtown Fort Myers. And again, it is a Monday night, so it's nothing. There's that Starbucks. We just just hang out here till the morning and they open it. There's a Starbucks right mm -hmm. here. Starbucks. Well, surprisingly, there's actually people out here. There's actually people out here. They just parked right on the road. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. They parked on the road to take a picture. Yeah. All right. There's actually people out here. Not a whole lot, but some. Mm -hmm. You realize how, you know, there's always hookers outside the police station? Mm-hmm. Isn't that ironic? Yeah. There's a police station there. And there's always hookers outside. Yeah. What? What happened? JC says Charlie Bo drives his third baby mama's white niece on Altima and brings it back on empty each time, smelling like perfume. <laughs> <laughs> there's people out by the biker bar. No, I. Oh, the smell of cigarette is so strong, I hate it. Yeah, it's the only thing about the downtown I don't oh, like. Oh, gosh, it's giving me a headache. Well, there's literally nobody out here, right? No, it's quiet. It's dead, man. At least they go to the biker bar. <laughs> Excuse me. Nobody out here. Excuse me. It's a ghost town. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna guess Monday night isn't the night, man. Oh. Monday night is not the night, man. It is completely dead. So Henry is the one that parallels. I'm curious to know where the people got, where it happened at. Henry and second. Where are we at right now? So second. That's second right there. Henry. So, Let me see him up real quick. I'm really curious to know where it happened at. Just so we know in case. Of is it up by the tea room or like closer down here? Second one's all the way through. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know where it's at. Okay, it's behind us. Yeah, that's where the nightclubs are. By City Hall. I don't like that back street anyways. I never do the back street on other life. The back street. I never go back there, bro. Mm -hmm. That's where all those nightclubs are. It's probably somebody getting out of a nightclub all messed up. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I never go back there. Well, it's definitely slow tonight. That's where those nightclubs are facing that parking lot that's got the trees around it. Mm -hmm. That's a sketchy spot regardless. Even when I do my live streams, I don't go over there. Yeah. <laughs> it, probably really, it probably had something to do with the nightclubs or something. It, have, have, has the news released any information about it? I... I mean, there's got to be cameras everywhere there. I mean, you have the city halls there, so... There's probably like a lot of that's a dumb place to do it. There's all types of cameras yeah. there. Like, there's no way you're gonna do that and not end up on camera. Yeah. So other than Waffle House, there's nothing open back towards this direction. Unless the taco trucks is open. Taco trucks are open. I don't think a taco truck will be open on a weekday. You never know, though. The hood is weird. Mm -hmm. the, that's the thing about the hood. Mm -hmm. I think my blood pressure is high. I don't know why. I got, well, I didn't sleep well, so that's pretty much it. So what's the conversation like? Well, they're talking about zombies in amongst themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Any 
little conversation we could take part of here. Oh, they're pretty much doing their own thing down there. Yeah, they're pretty. They're doing. They're talking about Waffle House be smacking. Waffle House what? Waffle House is good. It's not really healthy for you. Nothing. It, nothing good is ever healthy. Like if you wanted something healthy at Waffle House, is there anything? Healthy? I don't think there is. Yeah, there is. You just have to order like chicken and salad. Do they have that at Waffle House? Well, half the time they don't want to make the salad, so. Yeah. Like, if you wanted something healthy from Waffle House, could you get it? There or there's orange juice. There's orange juice. Okay. That's it. You walk get, in like, there. Walk in there. Like, let me just get orange juice and a piece of lettuce. <laughs> I would just ask for like a bowl of lettuce. <laughs> so let me get a hamburger without the bread, without the ham, <laughs> without the. Hey, you guys should keep the tomato. How do you order a salad at Waffle House? Let me get a hamburger without the bread, without the ham, just the lettuce and the tomato. They say get a Texas cheesesteak melt and hash browns. I'll raise your blood pressure. All right, what are they saying? They're finally talking again. They're like whoppers, melt the fat in seconds. What are they saying? They're talking. Read, man. Read back. That's what I, that was the last thing they said. Dude, there's like entire sentences. Read back. That's the whole thing. I said it. So behind, we're, so we're, besides Miami area, where would you go on a Florida on a Monday night and find people? Miami Beach. I think Panama City Beach would still have people. Fort Lauderdale, Las Olas. Mm -hmm. um, I think Miami Beach is the only non-stop party place in Florida. Orlando, maybe? Uh-huh. Maybe Orlando somewhere? Yeah. Oscar says to get steak and eggs. That's <laughs> okay. healthy. Those are two very strong meals. Well, if you're doing keto, it's not bad. I mean... Yeah, but it's just because I'm not doing keto. No, I wouldn't eat steak and eggs. I would raise my blood pressure in a heartbeat. JC doesn't like breakfast. Yeah. Yeah. Red bones. We're at the red bones. Red bones. Red bones. See, I, you could get a waffle. I wouldn't raise it. I'll be like, let me get a hamburger without the bread, without the ham. Well, I mean, you can just... always look at the menu, too. No, there isn't any. There really isn't anything healthy you can order there. Sautéed mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really think there is anything anything healthy you can order at Waffle House. Walmart isn't open twenty four hours anymore. No, there's really nothing. Yeah, Walmart is only open till eleven. We're in the hood, dog. Yeah. Like the hood, though. We're in the hood. We're on Palm Beach Boulevard, y'all. And then, D says ketchup is a vegetable. <laughs> ketchup is not healthy. Dang, there's literally nothing healthy you can order from, from Waffle House. Actually, yeah, you just gotta study the menu. I know it's order. This little Cuban place went to crap, bro. It's it so was sad. so good. It went from being the best Cuban place to being the worst. Worst. Absolute worst. Yeah. They changed owners. They were never the same. Yeah. It was so good. Then it just went to it's oblivion. Yeah. So, there's a Burger King. I think there's a Burger King, but I don't think it's open. It's not open. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see cars at the, at the Taco. There might be people yeah. at the Taco. They're really, they're really open that late. Yeah, it looks like people are there and enjoying. This late at night, for real. Let's see. Yeah. There's a semi truck. Yeah. Look, look. There's cars there. Oh wow! They're actually open that late. They're actually open. Yeah. <laughs> you want to get a burrito? I don't want to eat nothing that heavy. It looks like they're closing. Oh, down they're closing now. it down. Now. Yeah. Are they open? Oh, there's cars there. There's cars there, but the actual thing they're closing it down because usually it has light. So they're not open. Yeah. Okay. There's a McDonald's here, but I, yeah. I can't do it. McDonald's, McDonald's is 24 up. hours. Yeah, McDonald's does have salads and stuff. Does not have like a Caesar salad or something? They used to have Caesar salad. I don't know if 
they do now, but they have salads. I think they're they're just about closing it. Yeah. I don't want to eat something like. I don't want to eat street food. Oh, the amber lamp. No, it's a tow truck. Oh, it's a tow truck. Okay. Old people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, like, now they're using tow trucks to steal cars these days. Yeah. Now they use tow trucks to steal cars. Yeah. That's sad. Mm -hmm. Old people do have the majority of wealth in Southwest Florida, but that seems to be changing. It seems like there is a younger, wealthy crowd moving in as well. Hmm. Yeah, the, the Florida's changing. Mm -hmm. It used to be good when it was just old people. Yeah, it was really good. We used to complain about the old people. I had no idea the old people were no, this. The old people were I wish the I good could, ones. I wish I could go back to the old people. Yeah. It ain't the old retired mm -hmm. folks anymore. It's a whole different ball game now. Mm -hmm. I was like in a rush. Is there anywhere in Florida that's still like old people other than yeah, the villages? Plenty. Citrus Springs. We need to go there. The villages, Citrus Springs. <laughs> there are a lot of places that are like that. We need to go to there. Those are the places you want to live. If you really don't want to be bothered with crime. Well, Sebring. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, no, no. There's Sebring, of course. Hmm. Sebring, you can get bold. <laughs> you can get crime in old people. <laughs> yeah. I really like Citrus Springs. That's where I would want to live. Too many old people. Domino's. You can't eat pizza this late, though. It's not good. Uh -huh. They're closed. No, they're, they close at, like, midnight. But the employees are probably still cleaning. Hmm. Sometimes there's ladies of the night out here. Yeah. Hmm. What are you saying? Shout out to Birmingham, Alabama. Jeff oh, Davis is in the house. How are you liking Birmingham, man? Seems like you're pretty happy there. How'd that work out? In how's how's Birmingham? How's the B-ham? B to the ham. From one B-ham to the next. From Birmingham. Shouts from Buckingham to Birmingham. From one B-ham to the other B-ham. Yep. Louis Angel says, My mom selling her condo in Hialeah and we she moving either to Cape Coral or Clewiston. Oh, very different. How, how do you move to Cape Coral or Clewiston? How is that even how your is choice? That? It's like, let's move to one of the most, to a small town in Central Florida or to a, hip, a very hip place. Yeah, those are two very different options. Jeff Davis says it's treating him good so far. Dang, I'm surprised, man. Okay. Would you um? Would you recommend if somebody? I don't know, man. Because hey, if they're treating you good, they're treating you good, man. Are you still downtown, or you moved around? Are you, what part of Birmingham are you in right now? Are you still around downtown, or, or somewhere else? Yeah. Birmingham can be scary. <laughs> I'll tell you that much. So pretty much the only options we got are really um Waffle House and Waffle House. Waffle House or Waffle House, dang. Yeah. I almost want to go hungry and eat Waffle. I want Waffle House. No, I can't do that. It's just too fatty, and I, I'm already feeling sick. Did they? Did he reply? He hasn't said anything yet. Yeah. All right, that's good, man. Hey, Albert. He might be taking a little time to. Lewis says she's 62 and wants to retire over there. You either yeah. want restaurants or quiet. That's basically the two. Yeah. Well, Clewiston's very quiet. I mean, if she's from Hialeah, she'll do okay in Clewiston. Yeah. You know, Hialeah is, is kind of chaotic. Jeff is still downtown, but he's out of the motel. Okay, cool, man. I'm glad to hear that. Cool. That's cool, man. Look at all the police. They got it all shut down. What happened? Uh -huh. They got cops right here. Oh, it's just road Close construction. Road construction. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of construction there, right? I would not live in any other southern state besides Florida. Florida, maybe Texas. Florida's the only like 
Florida or Texas is really it. Waffle House. Let's see. Open now. I'm just afraid I'm going to get sick of like Waffle House. Okay. Yeah. I, I got to stuff for your drink, so worst comes to worst. Mm. I have to keep it real simple. Yeah. Oh. Mm -hmm. There are other places if you want to drive. No, I'm tired, bro. I'm driving around. All right. Go around Cape I Coral. Know, I know. I know. You gotta be careful. It's always sketchy around here. Mm -hmm. It's weird because this area, where, this is how you get into the area we live. It's very weird because it's not bad in the daytime, but at night, this area turns to crap. Yeah. This area at night, you have to be like alert. Yeah. This area is crazy at night. I don't know if I want to do this. Are they even open? There's like only three guards here. Yeah, the lights on. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it just for the vibe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the vibe. It's like... <laughs> you're going to Waffle House. Uh, what are you expecting? <laughs> the, the vibes are great out here, man. It's just it's just the environment. The environment out here. Are they open? Let me see if they're even open. Are they even open? Yeah. Awesome. Let me ask you that. They should be open, but there's nobody in there. Yeah. Just the environment makes it all happen. Um, there's workers here. Yeah. Alright, we'll just grab something simple. Was, I mean, we woke up so late today. Um, we'll grab something simple. We'll grab something simple. Yeah. And guys, I appreciate all you guys. Um, $40, not bad. Thank you so a much. Yo, 141 people hit the yeah. like. I'm so I'm surprised so many people want to tune in for me. I, I was missed. They missed you. Yes. This is all about Katie. This is not about Jose. I know. Because when I do my live streams, like it hasn't been this good. <laughs> Who would think a live stream on a Monday late at night would get that many views? Yeah, it's. I mean, we're up to we're still up to ninety people. Yeah, people missed. Me. I can't do nothing but YouTube. Apparently. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. One hundred and forty-three likes. Yeah. They really like you. 143 likes. Like, we don't yeah. usually get that many. And I've been live streaming a lot. Usually yeah. when, you, when you live stream so much, you usually like burn them out. Yeah. I was wanting to go to the grocery store, but apparently we don't have that time right now. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, we're going to get something healthy at Waffle House. We'll figure something out. You represent for the Waffle House. You know, I don't know how to waffle. Get some waffles. What are you doing? Throwing up the W for Waffle House. <laughs> the only thing open in town. <laughs> Throw your WHs up, man. All right, y'all. Yeah. These are eating caffeine better. Okay. <laughs> Get some sleep, bro. Get some you need some sleep, bro. <laughs> I, I hate letting go of a live stream with almost 100 people, but we have to, y'all. We're out. Y'all yeah. have a beautiful night. You guys have made our day. We'll, we'll try to check in with you guys. Stay out of trouble. I don't even yeah. know how the crap we got 100 people watching us yeah. at 1230 on a Monday. We're out. We're out.